Well, Mom and Dad, it's almost time. Jack's ready at last. Hey, sis, where's breakfast? Jack Russell! What? What did I do? Today's the day we've been waiting for. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I haven't forgotten. You most certainly have. Why aren't you more excited? Outside now. Aw, but I just got up. Do as you're told. sword. Yes. Jack, this is your father's legendary sword, the Arbitrator. Of course, you aren't ready to use it yet. But someday you will. Someday, Jack, you'll become a great knight like your father. You'll be a leader of men with this sword at your side. I know you will. Wow. But first, you have to pass the knight selection trials, right? Hey, no worries. Leave it to me. All I gotta do is beat everyone else, right? Listen, Jack. Not just anyone tries out for the Knights. These people really know what they're doing. Don't be too cocky or they'll make you answer for it. You can't just wave your sword around. Um, can we save the fencing lessons for later? I gotta head out or I'm gonna be late. Oh, look at the time! Jack, what are you doing? Hurry up and get going! Adele, I'll pass those night trials for sure. And before long, I'll be an even greater knight than Dad was. Ugh. He just has no idea how great his father was. No idea at all. But maybe that will be one of his strengths. Radiata Castle. I finally made it. Dad, are you watching? Fight Ridley Silverlake, right? Ha <laughs> ha, he's dead meat. Calling the next candidates, Ridley and Jack. 
seat to the Coliseum immediately. All right, Ridley. Hope you're ready. What? No way. Ridley's a girl? Sheesh, I was looking forward to a real fight. Oh, man, I suck at holding back. Welcome to the official Royal Radiata Knight Selection Trial. I will be your referee for this contest. My name is Junzaburo. The test you are about to face is a traditional Radiata Knights elimination tournament. In other words, it is a completely unbiased assessment of your ability. You will earn points for every hit, but should a knockout occur, the winner will be declared immediately. Understood? Let's begin. Combatants, take your position. Selection Trials, round two. Ridley Silverlake versus Jack Russell. Begin! you Contestants, it's time to announce the results. Everyone to the Coliseum! Huh? Come and get it! Huh? They're announcing the results. You're supposed to go to the Coliseum. Results? Huh? Well, what about my fight? Miss Ridley was the victor. You mean I lost? I lost the match? Yes, Miss Ridley beat you in the first round. Uh, it seems Miss Ridley has been training to become a knight from a very young age. Even Lord Star was defeated. You should not feel too bad. I can't believe I lost. Tournament winner Ridley Silverlake has passed the selection trials. And there will be one more. Jack Russell. What? But, sir, the young boy does not yet possess the skills to be a knight. Don't you recognize his name? Russell? You mean... Cairn Russell? Yes, he is the son of Sir Cairn, former captain of the Blanc Chevalier. This one may have a bright future. But Lord Lux... Are you sure it's wise to place him under the command of Sir Gantz? I mean Sir Gantz. He is the son of Sir Gawain, as I'm sure you know. Can Gawain. Jack. Gantz. I believe that their entwined fates could make them a powerful combination. Junzaburo. Carry on, please. <clears throat> Introducing Lord Larks, Prime Minister of Radiata and Commander-in-Chief of the Radiata Knights. 
and Captain Gantz Rothschild of the Rose Cochon Brigade. New recruits will be placed under his command. And now for the tournament results. <laughs> Ta-da! Ridley Silver Lake! <sighs> and there's one more. Huh. Another one? The keen eye of Lord Larks has identified a young hopeful with a great deal of potential. <laughs> Ta-da! Jack Russell! Oh, no way! Why me? I lost the first round. Jack, as James a girl mentioned, you have been chosen not because of what you can do for us now, but what you can do in the future. Understand that you are now one of the Knights of the Kingdom. Bear yourself accordingly and serve it well. Sir! I am Gant Rothschild, Captain of the Rose Cochon Brigade. Master Jack, Lady Ridley, we will hold the inauguration ceremony immediately. But first, please go to your assigned rooms and change into your new knight's attire. That will be all. I will see you both at the ceremony. This will be Master Jack's room. Join the knights and I have to stay in this dump? Can I help you? Huh? See, I knew there was some kind of mistake. This is your room, right? Yep, it sure is. This gentleman is Master Leonard. He will be a room leader. Room leader? Oh, it's at that time already. Master Jack, you will find your trainee knight's wear on your bunk. Once you have changed, please proceed to the third floor meeting room. You are expected at the Rose Cushon inauguration ceremony. Sir Gans is ready to begin. Do not keep him waiting. I believe that will be all. Ah, yes, I neglected to introduce myself. I am Al, the castle steward. If you need help or are confused about anything at all, please do not hesitate to come and ask me. If you would excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, wait up! You're Jack, the new guy, huh? Nice to meet you. Uh, do we both stay in here? That's your bed back there. When you're done with the death whales, come in and get changed. Fine. Well, who looks like a little lord now? Jeez, do the royal knights really fight in this getup? <laughs> when you make captain, you can wear what you like. Until then, you stick with regulation. You know, Pops, that doesn't exactly make me feel any better. You're gonna have to learn to treat your elders with more respect. And who are you calling Pops? I'm only 21, okay? You say clothes make the man. <laughs> you look like quite the little lord. Now, Master Jack, please take that seat right over there. Hmm. 
what's this? Do I send some bad blood between you? That will not do. Teamwork. Teamwork is the key to the success of the Radiata Knights. She's trained to be a knight since she was a kid. It's not fair. I had no chance. Now, now, Master Jack. You'll have many opportunities to hone your skills. You bet I will. I'm going to be better than her in no time. Well then, shall we begin the ceremony? Uh, um, on this, the most auspicious of days. We are all thrilled to be here for the inauguration of the Rose Cochon Brigade. Although I think I'm the most thrilled of all. This is without a doubt the best day of my life. If this is a dream, I hope that I never wake up. Of course it isn't a dream, but I'm so overwhelmed, I can't believe this is really happening. This... this isn't a dream, is it? Master Jack, would you give me a little pinch right here? Ow! I'm gonna beat you so bad! Ow! 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 Okay, it's not a dream! So now we can get down to business! M Master Jack, thank you, that, that's enough! Please, let go, Jack! Ouch! Uh... Master Jack, please, stop pinching me! Uh, sorry. Now, to business. I hereby announce the inauguration of the Gantz Rothschild Rose Cachon Knight Brigade! Hey, Captain, I have a question. Um, yes, what is it? So, what does Rose Cochon mean? What does it mean? Well, how shall I put it? It expresses the pride of the knights and our unswerving devotion to the kingdom. How exactly? Well, Rose is like pride, and, and uh, Cachon is the loyalty to country bit. Really? Uh, no. But I really, really, really like to believe that that is the case. Right. I have wonderful news. Lord Parks has given the Rose Cachon Brigade a very important mission. Which is? We must protect a dwarf. We will escort a dwarf carrying metal goods and weapons for trade. It will be our mission to see both dwarf and cargo brought safely to Radiata. It's a real honor that the brand new Rose Cachon has been given such a super important assignment. Super important, huh? If we do well on this mission, I think we can expect to see the Rose Cachon stock rise considerably. We're on the fast track to fame! Right, we leave first thing tomorrow morning. The journey will be a long one. Please make sure that you're prepared. Uh, Master Jack. Yeah? Would you come with me after this meeting, please? Come with you? Where are you going? I think you will find it most instructive. Jasner, you're up very early, sir. Is everything all right? Ah, here you are, finally. Uh, I mean, uh, what a fine morning, don't you think? Yes, yes it is. 
Lord Jasner, today is the first mission for the Rose Cochon Brigade. Well, you be careful out there. Sir! Master Jack, this is Jasner Colton, Lord Chamberlain of Radiata. Really? Really? Jack, your manners! Bow to his lordship! But what about Rinley? Jack, don't be a fool! Ridley doesn't have to bow! What's this? Playing favorites all of a sudden? Fool! Oh! Lady Ridley is his lordship's daughter! Huh? But... Ridley's last name is Silver Lake, right? Lord Jasner was accepted into the noble Silver Lake family. Their family crest is the Great Eagle of the North. Only those related by blood may bear the august Silver Lake name. Oh, well, I guess we know which donkey is pulling the cart in that family. Yep, and where the donkey leads, the ass has to follow. Well said, young Jack. You have a sharp eye. You don't miss a lot, do you? Aw, oh, you're just saying that. No, no, Jack, don't be so self-effacing. A good knight must have wisdom as well as strength. Captain, cut it out. You're embarrassing me. You're more sensitive than I gave you credit for. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying I'm an ass? My apologies, sir. He's completely new, sir. He hasn't learned a thing yet. Well, you'd better start teaching him, hadn't you? Yes, sir. Just leave it to me, my lord. I'll whip him into shape. And another thing, Gans. If anything happens to my Ridley... Sir? No, well, never mind. She is a knight now, I suppose. I can protect her forever. You watch her, Gantz. Can we go? Someone's there. Yes, that must be young Master Clive from the Olashian Order. Olashian Order? The Priest Guild. Guilds are organizations that provide a variety of services for the regular townspeople. In the town, we have four guilds. The Warrior Guild, the Priest Guild, the Mage Guild, and the Bandit Guild. Depending on the assignment, we knights sometimes ask guild members to join us on our missions. Open government and knights that work with the people. Lord Larks has some very progressive ideas. That's so. At the same time, it allows him to keep an eye on the guilds and maintain the balance of power. If one guild grew more powerful than the others, there would be all sorts of trouble. Yeah, I guess there would. Howdy. Master Clive? Clive, that's me. We are delighted to meet you. I just joined Alashian. I'm real new, you know. I can't do nothing yet. Nice to meet you. You can't do nothing? Nothing at all? Nope, not a thing. I can eat and sleep is all. Um, yes, well, you seem to be very, uh, level-headed. Right then, everybody, let's move out! Oh, brother. What kind of messed up brigade did I join? So no matter what happens, don't let them see you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But Lord Jasna... Hush! It's locks. Lord Jesney, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, nothing, just uh, silly gossip. Uh, thank you, Natalie, that will be all. Natalie, 
Is there a problem? No, sir. We were just talking. He wasn't bothering you, was he? Huh? Oh, no, not at all. I see. Good. As long as it wasn't that. Now then, here are the details of our mission. All right, we finally get to do some night stuff. Don't get too excited. You're still just a rookie. Hey, we joined at the same time. I've been training as a knight for years. I wasn't let in out of pity like some of us. Say what? They're like two weasels in a whipple pot. Uh, yes. Now, about the mission. First, we must journey to the Dwarf Village in Earth Valley. We humans and the Dwarves are trading partners. The Dwarves are our allies, as it were. Their home in Earth Valley lies southwest of here. To reach the Dwarf Lands, we must travel south. The journey there should present no difficulties. The problem is the return journey. There may be goblins and orcs looking to steal our cargo. We might have to fight orcs? It's not out of the question. Are orcs really strong? Orcs are about the most violent critters around. They can take down a Smilodon with one blow. Really? With one blow? You scared? Yeah, a little, I guess. But it sounds way cool, too! It sounds... cool? Well, come on! It'd be a drag if nothing happened at all! Captain, can't we leave him behind or something? Master Jack, please don't do anything that will invite trouble. Yeah, yeah, I know. Does he have any clue at all? Lady Natalie, what are we doing here? Secret orders from Lord Jasnan. Lady Ridley is his lordship's one and only daughter. She means everything to him. Then why'd he let her join the knights at all? What could he do? Lady Ridley is a Silver Lake. She has to uphold the honor of the family name. in a crazy place like this? It's like a theme park. This is gonna be fun. This idiot really thinks we're on some kind of picnic. Yup. See ya. Master Jack, there are certain formalities that we must observe. We are the Rose Cochon Brigade, here to escort the trade goods in place of the Viola Chevre. Oh, right. You're the guards for the wagon. All right, come in. Go 
Come in. I'm on the second floor. Mm. So you are here instead of the Violet Chevrolet. It is an honor to be of service. Hmm? Who are you? Guns Rothschild at your service. You are Gauvain's kid, are you? You know my father? There isn't a dwarf alive who doesn't know who your father was. You know? Yes, yes, well, we can talk about my father some other time. Hmm? All right. Ah, uh, yes. I have a very important favor to ask of you, Gans. I want you to take this to your king. It's a letter describing the new prices for our metal goods and weapons. Did you say new prices? We're getting less and less ore out of this mountain. The mine is running dry. What's more, the water of Earth Valley is becoming muddy and foul. And the earth is turning thin and barren. Nothing will grow here anymore. That is terrible, sir. Everybody is having a hard time. We have no choice but to raise our prices just a little. And hence the letter. I see. I will make sure that it is delivered safely. Thank you, my friend. It's going to take some time to get the trade goods ready. While you're waiting, relax and enjoy some of the valley's hospitality. We are the Rose Cochon Brigade. We are here to escort the trade goods in place of the Violet Chevrolet. Are the knights running out of recruits? Looks like their standards are slipping. Hey, come here and say that! Enough! Listen to me, Jack. Trust is something that must be earned a little bit at a time. The Violet Chevrolet completed many escort missions and earned the trust they enjoy. We have no such record. We must work hard, Master Jack, with diligence and sincerity, and win the same respect for ourselves. Okay. The troops are idiots, to be sure, but the leader is wise enough. You do your jobs now, do you hear? If we lose this cargo, there will be hell to pay. Worry not, sir. We shan't relax our guard for a second. and only two of them. We have nothing to fear. Huh? But, Captain, didn't they say they were a trio? Huh? Uh-huh. The third one's here. <laughs> Greetings! Clive? Yeah, Clive. Did you know he was there all along? Yep. I was keeping a real close eye on him. Thanks for the warning, Clive. We win it, you losers! Gimme, gimme, gimme! 
Captain, what should we do? I don't know. M my mind's a blank. <sighs> what should we do? According to the Radiata Knights Charter, we should prioritize saving the hostage and enter negotiations. Huh? Why, yes, of course, negotiations. Excellent work, Lady Ridley. Do you want to do the honors? Leave it to me. Violence is never the answer. I'm sure we can discuss this calmly and come to an equitable solution. Now, what are your demands? You give us goat. We eat it. The goat? You mean you don't want the cargo? No, we cannot accede to your demand. You can't eat the poor goat, not after he's worked so hard for us. Besides, without him, how will we carry everything back to the castle? Looks like the negotiations broke down. If those were negotiations, that is. Fine, I kill Harry Guy. Ah, no, please don't do anything rash. We play game for goat. Categories. Game? Next word starts with last letter of word before. Categories, is it? And if we win, we may proceed? Captain, this could be a trap. A trap it may be, but we have little choice. Us first, birds! Right. Bluebird! Dove! Eh! Unhindered. We keep promises. You keep promises? You could have fooled me. You say something. No. Okay, vegetables. Garlic. Cabbage. Eh? 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 Egg? Victory is ours. What is their problem? Why didn't he just say eggplant? Oh, who cares? Captain, now's our chance! Right, everyone! Let's teach these goblins a lesson! Going to help them? They're just goblins. Let's see how they do. What are our orders? I know, but I want to watch. I want to see how good Lady Ridley is in a fight.
a good fight. You clowns are boring. I want to fight some orcs! What the heck are you blabbering about? I mean, seriously. Huh? What's this? Is little lady Ridley scared? Say what you want. If we do meet any orcs, you'll be sorry. Now, now, you two. We still have a mission to complete. If orcs surprise us and we are unprepared, it really will be the end of us. Ooh, wee. The captain's mad at you. And whose fault is that? At last, Raviata Castle. Ah, thank you, young friends. Mr. Donovich, you will be quite safe now. Hmm, is that so? Ah, uh, and I really wanted to have a fight with my orcs. What do you mean, my orcs? You'd be squashed into the ground before you could get your sword out. Hey, you never know till you try. Besides, the more tough fights I get into, the better I'll get. Eventually, my hidden superpowers will be unleashed. You read too many comics, idiot boy. Brigade, halt! Hey, Captain. Something's been bugging me all the way here. What's that? Where's our parade? There isn't one. But don't people gather on the main street and throw big parades for returning knights? They do stuff like that, right? That only happens when the most famous brigades return from especially important missions. That's kind of lame. Dream your peasant fantasies all you want. But if I were you, I wouldn't expect to be joining any parades. In this lifetime. I'm gonna win so many battles, I'll be more famous than you ever will. Well done, young man. Thank you for seeing me safely here. When those gormless goblins attacked, I didn't know what was going to happen. I'm so sorry we allowed you to fall into such danger. Please accept my apologies. Well, I did want to see how the son of Gawain could fight. Huh? Mr. Donovich, are you saying that you knew my father? Of course. I know all about Gawain, and all about you, too. About me? I suppose you don't remember. Well, you were only about yay high at the time. Anyway... It's good to see that little Gantz has grown up into such a fine young man. You've still got things to learn, but it seems that you have the heart of your father in you. You will always be welcome in Earth Valley. Come and visit any time. You can bring your friends, too. Till next time. There he goes. Yes. Captain, we should be going too. Of course. Captain Gaunt's Rothschild and the Rose Cachon back from assignment. Welcome back, sir. So, what do we do now that we've finished the mission? The mission is not over yet, Master Jack. We must go immediately to our Commander-in-Chief, Lord Locks, and submit our report. Okay, the trip's not over till we get home and unpack the basket, right? He really does think this is a picnic. Yup. <laughs> Captain Gantz Rothschild and the Rose Cachon Brigade reporting, sir. Come in, please. I'm glad you've returned safely. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. How was your first mission? We had some excitement on the way back. We were ambushed by a gang of goblins. However, everyone performed their duty and we escaped without incident. Very good, Gans. 
I imagine you are all very tired from your journey. You can tell me the rest in your written report. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, there was also this. Mr. Gonovich, the elder of the dwarf village, asked that this letter be delivered to his majesty. Very well. You may leave it with me. Thank you. That will be all for today. You are dismissed. Sleep well. Getting sufficient rest between assignments is one of your most important duties. Sir! As Lord Locke said, it is very important that knights rest in preparation for their next mission. Jack, be sure to get a good night's sleep. Don't go wandering around the castle all night. Hey, why are you just telling me? Well, Lady Ridley is quite used to the castle already. And Master Clive is returning to the Priest Guild, of course. Thanks for bringing me along. Not at all. We must thank you. But now that I think about it, I reckon I weren't much use to y'all. Most of the time, I just said yup. What? Nonsense! It was thanks to you that we were able to finish the mission in such high spirits. Master Clive, I have rarely worked with anyone who was more efficient. Your fee is waiting for you back at Olashian. I hope we have the opportunity to work together again very soon. Phew! That was close. I thought for a moment he was going to realize how utterly ineffectual he was. That Clive guy really was useless, huh? I just kind of assumed that all the Olashian guys were like that. He is a nice enough fellow. But quite frankly, ability-wise, he's the bottom of the barrel. That bad, huh? I'd have thought you'd notice during the fight with the goblins. You see, Olashian and the other guilds have less exacting entry requirements than the knights. Although I have heard that there are some Olashian priests who are more than a match for any Radiata knight. So, they take anyone? <sighs> it's been a long day. I think I'll return to my room and rest for a while. Good night to you both. Bye. Huh? Bye? That's it? Uh, she ticks me off! <laughs> Master Jack, are you here? Yeah, hello. I'm right here. An emergency summons has been issued to the Rose Cochon. Please be at the meeting room in 30 minutes. Emergency summons? Too cool! That sounds like real night work! I'm on my way! And do try not to get lost on the way, all right? Al, you worry too much. How am I gonna get lost inside the castle? when they made this castle so blinking huge! Good morning, Captain. Sorry about the wait. Good grief. Would it kill you to be on time? What was that? Now, now, Jack. Take a seat, please. Sir! The Rose Cochon Brigade has been given a new assignment. We're gonna fight orcs? No, we're to deliver a royal message to the Light Elves. This is a very important assignment. It is part of the Non-Human Friendship and Trade Initiative. Lord Chamberlain Jasna has been working very hard on this project. Much rests on the outcome of our mission. Failure is not an option. This will be one blood-tingling, rip-roaring adventure. But the Light Elves hate humans. There's no race more suspicious of us than them. Humans have never been allowed inside the City of Flowers where the Elves live. You are perfectly correct. That is why we will be bringing a specialist with us. A specialist? Who? Master Genius of the Vereth Magic Institute. He's a brilliant young man. He apparently became a professor there when he was only 15. Okay, but where is he? We will meet Master Genius at our destination. He's there conducting research. His home isn't far from the Light Elf village. 
We leave first thing tomorrow morning from Falcorn Gate. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Try not to be late, Kay. You either, Kay. Captain, good morning. I'm right on time. Morning, Jack. Nice to see you all fired up as usual. <laughs> Check it out, Ridley. I got here right on time. So, don't make a big deal out of being normal. Excuse me? I was here before you. What's your point? Was I late? I don't think so. All right, all right, you two. Are we ready? Let's get going, shall we? Sir! Sir. Huh? I've never heard of it. Yes, very famous indeed. This castle was built over a hundred years ago. It's one of the historical remains from the great human elf war of the last century. Radiata knights are still garrisoned here today to keep watch over the movements of the elves. No way! I've never heard any of that before. Ignorance is bliss, huh? Push all brigade. We bear a royal message. Go ahead, sir. Looks like they made it without any problems. Yes, Lady Natalie. But how long do we have to keep this up? Until Lord Jasmine is assured of their safety. But we have our own assignments. It doesn't make much sense. Knights guarding other knights. There's no point complaining about it, Leonard. Orders are orders. You know how it is. Fathers hate to see their little girls grow up and strike off on their own. It's only natural. Well, if you say so. But seeing him dote on his daughter... I mean, the way he protects her so... Don't you think he's wonderful? Ah, <sighs> my sweet Lord Jasmine. Hmm. What's so great about that old red nose? Hey, we're going to lose Lady Ridley. Come on, after them! Greetings. We are the Rose Cachon Brigade. Master Genius, I presume. Uh, young sir, your name is Genius, is it not? Hello, Master Genius. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! <sighs> I was on the verge of finding the complete solution to the non-human biophilic element resonance accumulation principle. Then you had to interrupt and shatter my concentration. Ah, I see. Yes, well, I'm very sorry. I'm sure, uh... Hmm. This guy's kind of weird. He isn't kind of weird. He's completely cuckoo. Oh, never mind. So, you must be the Radiata Knights who want to deliver the royal message. Right. I'm Captain Gantz Rothschild, and these two are... Ridley Silverlake. And I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. I am Genius Vice Height. I have only one request to make. Don't interfere with my research ever. There's a chance we can enter the Elf City, the City of Flowers. That is the only reason I have agreed to offer my assistance. Well, shall we? Uh, 
shall we want? I presume you want to leave immediately? Yes, of course. Good, we can talk as we go along. You and I, the value of our time is measured quite differently. I cannot allow my time to be wasted. For every minute that I am not working, humankind's progress is set back two weeks. Ah, is that right? Yes, that is right. I'm a genius, you see. The gateway to the City of Flowers. What is? Where? Are you blind? Here, in front of you, the crevice in this cliff. That? You're joking, right? That's the gateway? Geniuses don't lie. What were you expecting the entrance to look like, exactly? Well, I mean, it's the City of Flowers, right? I figured it'd be more colorful or something. Never mind. We're wasting time. I guess it being hidden like this is why no one's ever gotten in before. Yes, and if anyone does find the entrance, they have to deal with them. Halt! You can't come in! Buzz off! Listen, it's very important that you let us in. You again? Persistent twerp, do you want to get hurt? You make us mad, you're gonna be sad. Scary! Elves are way scary! Jack, please stop that. We have come bearing a very important message from the Kingdom of Ratiata. Please, is there any way that we might speak to your leader? Shut up! Go home! If you're still here when we get back, you're dead. Come on, Captain. Let's go in anyway. Stop, you fool. If we do that, we'll never be able to deliver the message. Believe me, they will kill you. Those two weren't joking, you know. Really? Wow. The elves are really scary. There's nothing we can do. We'll have to withdraw. What a waste! How come we couldn't get in? We'd hoped you'd help with that. In any case, we need to think hard and come up with another way to get inside. Think hard? <laughs> Easy for you to say. Wait, of course! You have an idea? We'll go to the Dark Elf Village. They can act as mediators in the negotiations. Mediators? But they're elves too. Surely we'll just be driven away again. The Dark Elves are far less hostile than the Light Elves. I know their elder, Lord Nogueira, quite well. I've asked him many times to intercede and let me into the City of Flowers. He has always refused. But this time, I have more than just a personal reason to offer. A royal message cannot be dismissed lightly. It'll be very difficult for him to turn us down. And then... At last, I will be inside the City of Flowers. <laughs> Why is he laughing? He really is a weirdo. If we didn't have to work together, I wouldn't want to hang out with the guy. Right. Follow me, everyone. you following me? Well, the captain hasn't moved. Knights have to wait for their captain's orders. We can't just run off whenever we want. That's right. I am the captain. Only I can issue orders to the brigade. Master Genius, please take us to the village of the Dark Hills. What is this? Are you giving me orders? No matter how much of a genius you may be, you are for the present under my command. If that is unacceptable, then we must part ways. Fine, fine. We want the same thing, I suppose.
Excellent. Now, if you care to lead the way. Captain, you know, you're actually kind of cool back there. Well, Jack, being entrusted with a brigade is a serious responsibility. A leader must be prepared to put his foot down for the good of the troops. Enforcing rules is a most important duty. Wow, being a captain is tougher than I thought. I wouldn't worry about it. It'll be a sunny day in Fog Valley the day you make captain. Uh. everywhere. It is beautiful, isn't it? The dark elves live close to the land, in harmony with nature. They work hard, play hard, and enjoy life to the fullest. Is that so? That's a life to envy, don't you think? This is the entrance to the forest metropolis. I'll ask the gatekeeper to let us in. Hello, Mikey. Hey, genius. Back to see the boss again, huh? You can ask all you want, but they won't let you into the City of Flowers. Don't be so sure. It'll be hard for Lord Nogueira to refuse me this time. Do you really think so? Well, good luck. Cool. It's like the secret forts we used to build when I was a kid. Forts? You didn't build forts? I didn't have time for children's games. I was too busy studying fencing and etiquette. Things that would be useful in the future. Things that would make me a better knight. Okay, but it doesn't sound like you had much fun. What would you know about it? allowed into the City of Flowers. I am not here on my own behalf. These people with me have a request. They're on a very important mission, you see. But in order to complete their mission, they must be able to visit the City of Flowers. Will you at least hear them out, Lord Nogueira? Very well. But keep it short. Thank you, my lord. Go on, tell them what you want. Ah, uh, yes, right. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is... Never mind all that. Get to the point. The point! Yes, of course, the point. Well, the point is this. What is that? It's a message from the Kingdom of Radiata to Lord Zane, Elder of the Light Elves. A human sends a message to my brother? Your brother? That's right. Lord Nogueira and Lord Zane are brothers. Ah, I see. That would explain why you look so much like a light elf. Actually, Lord Nogueira is a light elf. We aren't here to discuss me. Now, are you going to tell me what this letter is about? Our country seeks peaceful coexistence and the opening of trade routes for our mutual profit. We ardently hope to reach an agreement that will enrich us all. <laughs> trade, is it? I can assure you that my brother will have none of it. Hmm. Does Lord Zane really despise humans so much? He has his reasons. There is a long history between elves and humans. However, I shall send someone with a message. Huh? I am sure they will simply be chased away. But there may be a chance. Humans are far too obsessed with wealth. 
there will never be an end to these pleas for trade. Therefore, it is extremely important that we get his reaction to these requests of yours. Thank you, your lordship. <laughs> Soon I'll be in the city of flowers. <laughs> it's a half day to the light elves and back. Wait in the main hall until the messenger returns. Ah, uh, hi! What happened? Oh, orcs! Red ones! T two of them! What? The light elf! They got half! Red Orc? Yes, he also said that they captured someone called Hap. My brother must have sent him in response to your request. If the Orcs were Red, they must be Blood Orcs. They are dangerous beasts. They live only for murder and bloodshed. We gotta do something fast. If we don't, we're gonna kill Hap. We mustn't let that happen. Let's go, everyone! Captain! You aren't thinking of taking on blood orcs, are you? We cannot allow the captured light elf to be murdered. All right, Captain, now you're talking. Hi, where did this happen? It all happened in... in Wind Valley. I will take you there. Yes, sir! We finally get to take on some orcs! What? Do you have any idea how strong orcs can be? Of course I do! The tougher the opponent, the better I can show off my skills! Look! I wouldn't talk to you too much if I were you. Idiocy is contagious. Come on, everyone! Let's move out! Take it? Yes. The girl's right. Let's go home, okay? Far out. Way far out. Blood orcs look even tougher than I thought. <laughs> if I fight this guy and beat him, I'm going to be the best. How stupid can he get? But he does not lack for courage. Perhaps he was born to be a warrior. Don't give him too much credit. What is it? Don't blood orcs usually live in the southern region? Now that you mention it. What's this one doing all the way up here? This is bad. Leonard, we have to help them. We sure do. Leonard, what are you doing? This is no time to nap! Uh-oh! This is really bad! Okay! Check it out! Here he comes! Come and get it, big guy! You really think you're ready to face Jack Russell? Ridley! 
Jack, you must stay in formation. But, sir, do you want us all to die? Lord Nogueira, stay back. It's too dangerous. This is an elf problem. We will not allow ourselves to become indebted to humans. All I need is time. Give me time, and I will finish this form. white as a sheep. Don't move her. Captain, what should we do? Ridley's gonna be okay, right? Mm. No. Come on. She's not gonna die, is she? If we do nothing, then maybe. Captain, please! You gotta do something! What was a blood orc doing way out here? I don't believe this. This is bad. Really bad. We have to get back. Find Lord Chasna. Tell him what happened. I should have been watching out for her. Ridley! Lord Cross! Uh, who are you? Captain Cross of Noir Mouton Brigade. I was on a mission and heard all, so I came as fast as I could. This young girl is in grave danger. Mm. Elves, what are you doing here? Leave us and go back to your lair. Damn you! Keep your hands off Ridley! Lord Cross, Lord Nogueiro was the one who saved us. Yeah, you stay out of this. I'm sorry, but with the girl in this state, I cannot help her. No. However, there might be a way to save her. Huh? Whether it will work or not, I cannot say. But we have no other choice. A transpiratation ritual is their only hope. Huh? You perform a transpiratation on a human? Transpiratation? I'm not going to trust you lot in your depraved rituals. Ridley will be cured by human hands. Then I'm afraid the girl is doomed. She has only a few moments before her heart stops beating. Are you saying this trans-whatever-ritual thingy can save Ridley? I am not sure. But... I do know that if we do nothing, Hap and the girl will die. Now, what will you do? Lord Nogueira, we beg you, please save Lady Ridley. Damn you, Lance. I'll report you for this. You've got a big mouth. Why don't you shut it? Quiet, all of you. We will begin. Yeah. <laughs> 
right. I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. Look, Captain. She's getting her color back. She is not out of danger yet. You must take her back to your castle at once. This young girl needs to rest. I will return to the City of Flowers. I must tell my brother. Hap's body is no more. Let's hurry! Yes, sir! Wait, I'll carry her. I don't need your help. I can carry Ridley just fine. I am Cross War, Captain of the Noir Mouton Brigade. Yeah, so what? Ridley, she... she's my... Who cares? Ridley and I are in the same brigade! It's written in the Radiata Knights Charter. Knights of the same brigade are as family. Captain Gant, I think your soldiers need to learn how to show respect to their superiors. Yes, sir. My apologies, sir. What happened? Tell me what happened! Why is my Ridley unconscious? I'm very sorry, sir. There was a blood orc. I'm sorry? You bring back my Ridley like this, and that's all you can say? Lord Jasney, we should attend to Ridley first. Yes, of course. Cross, take her to the infirmary. Ridley will be okay, right? Of course, Jack. She'll soon be on her feet. Master Genius, is something wrong? No, but that cross fellow, what was he doing in Wind Valley? He said he was on some sort of mission. Well, it's got nothing to do with me, if you'll excuse me. Thank you for your assistance. Though we didn't get into the City of Flowers, I did witness the Transpiritation Ritual. That will be an enormous help to my research. I see. Well, anyway, Lady Ridley was saved, and that's the most important thing. Ah, yes. Master Genius, your payment shall be waiting for you at the Verith Institute. Very well, thank you. Gentlemen? I'll go and give my report to Lord Larks. Jack, why don't you get some rest? Easy for you to say. How can I rest at a time like this? Well, you must try anyway, Jack. I will see you later. Ridley, will you be okay? Why is 
because he'd like this. I should check this out. I gotta tell you, it was a real handful getting him in there. Screw you! Let me out of here! What's up? Ah, must have checked. It's terrible. I don't know what happened, really. All of a sudden he went bonkers and started beating on putt. Exactly. No one even touched him when suddenly... I hate that snooty little nerd! You can never tell what he's plotting! You should get him to the infirmary. Master Jack, you are surprisingly calm. Hey, for high-flying knights like me, this is kid stuff. I'm going to the infirmary. What caused this? I'll be darned if I can figure it. I guess you'd have to ask him. You all need to be taught a lesson! I'm not through with you yet! Let me out of here! What is wrong with this guy? He was always a big yapper, but I ain't never seen him violent like this before. So why now? Beats me. Hey! Patrick! You oversized cement hit! Let me out of here! He used to be as meek as a mouse with me. Always following me around real quiet-like. And you should see how strong he is now. We barely got him into the cell. I hope you're ready, because I'm going to shut that big mouth of yours for good! We can't do anything with him. I just don't know what to do. Hmm. You can stop worrying. Dinus! Who's he? Huh? You... You don't know Sir Dinus? You must be Jack Russell. General Dinus of the Royal Radiata Knights. Wow! The General? So that means... That's right. He's the big boss of all the Knights. Stand back, please, Jack. Patrick, open the cell. Huh? But, sir... <laughs> oh, goody! So it's going to be the General, is it? I hope you're ready, General! He's really very dangerous, sir. I know what I'm doing. Open the door. Huh? Oh, uh... Yes, sir. <laughs> the big generals come out to play. Patrick, unlock the door and get out of the way, fast. Is he dead? No, he's just been knocked out. We need him alive to conduct our tests. Test? You mean this isn't the first time someone's gone nuts like this? Ha, <laughs> very astute young man. Yes, this appears to be another case of the plague. We've received numerous reports of people suddenly turning violent. We're keeping a close eye on the situation. The plague? You mean a disease caused this? This does not leave the castle, do you understand? It might cause a panic among the people. Goodbye. I'll be seeing you again, Jack. Sir! Whoa! 
Whoa! He is way too cool! Except for the bald thing. If he heard you say that, he'd knock your head off. Lord Jasner, please try to stay calm. Stay calm? How do I stay calm? My Ridley, my precious, precious Ridley. Those filthy orcs, I won't let them get away with this. I've been working my fingers to the bone, trying to encourage friendship and trade with the non-humans. And this is the thanks I get. If it's not dwarves, then it's orcs. The fairy creatures grow more insolent by the day. All because I reached my hand out to them. They need to be taught a lesson. I completely understand how you must feel. No one can question the enormous contribution you have made to the building of peace between the races. But that is why we should not let a moment of passion undo all that you have done. Hmm. I'm fine. Just forget about the non-humans for now. But I won't forget why Ridley was placed in such terrible danger. Natalie was supposed to watch over them. She shouldn't have allowed this to happen. But the responsibility ultimately lies with Gantz. That fat, incompetent fool. Hmm. If I may make a suggestion, my lord, perhaps Ridley should be given her own brigade. Make Ridley a captain? Yes. Then you can assign only the best, most trustworthy knights to her command. It would, I think, be far safer for her than continuing to serve in the Rose Cochon Brigade. Brilliant, Lucian, of course! A magnificent idea! But there is just one thing missing from your plan. What's that, sir? It does nothing to make me feel better about what happened! What about those infernal half-wits in the Rose Cochon? It was their fault that my Ridley was hurt! Why don't you have Captain Gantz and the young trainee discharged from the Knights? Really? You think so too? Of course! They couldn't expect to get away with anything less! But wait! There's still a problem! And that is? Locks! He would never agree to it! Let me look into that. I'm sure there are a number of suitable pretexts we can employ. Hmm. My lord. Lord Jasnin, what are you saying? Forgive me, Lord Locks, but you are cruel to make me repeat this when it pains me so much to say it. Very well, once more then, the Rose Cochon Brigade must be disbanded. I want Ridley reassigned and made captain of a new brigade. As for Captain Gantz and the trainee Jack, they are to be dismissed at once. Is that clear enough? I'm sorry Ridley was hurt, but the Knights are under my command. By intervening, you are overstepping the bounds of your authority. Overstepping my authority? I am the Lord Chamberlain. I have the right to offer advice as I see fit. I have received Gans's report. I can find no fault in his judgment. With what crime would you charge them? They did all that they could to protect Ridley. Surely you realize that, Lord Jasnin. Everything they could? Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Not only did Gantz fail in his duty, he put his entire command in grave danger. I also understand that the young trainee, Jack, has been insubordinate to his superiors. The two of them have besmirched the honor, dignity, and trust of the glorious Radiata Knights. It grieves me deeply, but we have no choice. If you were truly grieved, 
you would give them a chance to restore that honor. To impose such severe punishment for a single mistake is unprecedented. Gans is the son of Sir Gawain. Jack is the son of Sir Cairn. Those men were two of our finest knights. We cannot simply wipe out their names with a single gesture. Larks, I did not realize you were so old-fashioned. Knights cannot ride on the coattails of their parents. I did not expect to hear that from you. Is there a problem? In any case, I refuse. You are aware, of course, that the dismissal of the knights in question is mandated by the knights' charter. Uh -huh. Now, who was it who wrote the charter? Can you help me out here, Larks? Hmm? I do. Oh, of course, I am sorry. I'm afraid that my memory just isn't what it used to be. So, Larks, do you really intend to waive the punishment that you yourself laid down in that document? <sighs> Very well, Lord Jesney. I will see to it that the Rose Cochon Brigade is disbanded as you have requested. Excellent! I'll let you draw the orders. I'm sure you'll want to inform the Brigade yourself. Of course. Hey, Captain? Master Jack. What's wrong? You look as if your dog died. Hmm? Members of the Rose Cochon, due to several violations of the Royal Radiata Knights Charter, the brigade shall be disbanded as of tomorrow morning by order of Salute Locks, Commander in Chief. They're disbanding us? In addition, Due to the aforementioned violations, the persons named below shall tomorrow morning be discharged from the Radiata Knights. Those names are ours, Jack. Discharged? You mean fired? They're firing us, but we didn't do anything wrong! We have to leave tomorrow morning? Just like that? And their only explanation is this crappy piece of paper? We have to complain! No, Jack. Raising a fuss will only cause trouble for Lord Larks. Who cares about him? Lord Larks tried to protect us. He did everything he could to keep us in the night. But his hand was forced. He had no choice but to get rid of us. Do you understand? If you say so. <sighs> I thought I would spend my whole life as a royal knight. I just never imagined that everything would end this way. Oh boy, Adele is going to be so mad when I get home. A Theater Van Cor recruitment flyer? Yes, Theater Van Cor is the Warrior Guild. I intend to join it. You could join too, Jack. Huh? I don't know. It's kind of sudden. The decision is yours, of course. It's up to you. I'm going to leave the castle tonight. I don't want to linger and make everyone feel uncomfortable. Goodbye. This place looks really shady. So I decided to come along. Go with the flow. That's what I say. Jack? Hmm? I'd like a little pick-me-up. You're gonna have a drink? They'll probably have some kind of entry test. Uh, I'm a bit nervous. You don't need a drink. Besides, I'm underage. Jack, I'm sorry. Captain, wait up! Whoa! Oh! 
what do you think you're doing? You know who I am. I don't want to hear it, Jarvis. Don't come back until you sobered up, you hear? Shove it! Watch it, Fatty! Hey, that's my captain you're talking to. Ask me if I care, shrimp. What'd you say? Jack, that's enough. We don't need any trouble. Don't worry about me. I'll make sure I go easy on it. Hey, kid, what was that? I'm going to chop you up like liver! Hey, I'm ready if you are. It's open. Whoa! How did he know I was here? Uh, yeah. Hi. You are an applicant. What is your name? Oh, Jack Russell. Very well, Jack. I would like to ask you a simple question. Why do you wish to join Theater Van Corps? Well, I got fired from the Knights. Hmm. An unusually frank young man. Is he just a fool, or is there more to him? Hmm? Next question. Imagine this situation. You have been sent on a very dangerous mission, and you find yourself alone. The rest of your party lies dead. What do you do? What do I do? I'm not really sure I get your point exactly. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. That is the end of my test. Please proceed to Deputy Gerald's room on the third floor. Jack. Yeah? All men must die. Yeah, that's for sure. I guess. Gee, what kind of test was that? He shows no tenacity of purpose and exhibits no fear of death. An intriguing young man. <laughs> hey, you trying to kill me? <laughs> You managed to dodge. All right, then. Let's continue. Huh? Aren't you taking the test? Oh, yeah, right. You swinging that sword at me kind of knocked me off track. Hmm. Minus three points. What? You allowed yourself to become flustered. During that time, three of your allies were slain. Therefore, minus three points. Oh, come on, no way! In war, there is no time for cowardice or incompetence. Now, if you're ready, we'll go to the training ground. Today, you get special treatment. If you can beat me in combat, you will pass the test and be able to proceed. You mean like a practical exam? All right, that's more like it. You'd better be sure you're ready. I won't be holding back.
You didn't run away. I'm impressed. Oh man, I didn't even come close to winning. What did you expect, fool? I was a swordsman years before you were born. Now get on your feet. You have to go up to the fourth floor and see the boss. Huh? I like your guts, boy. You've passed. Now get moving. <gasps> yes, sir! Hmm. You're looking more like a soldier already. Thanks to me, of course. It's been a while since we've had someone like him in the guild. Hey there. Gerald is quite a fighter, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I've never fought anyone who was that good before. I'm telling you, it was pretty wild. You, you may be the one. Hmm? We can use you. Excellent! You won't regret this. Wait till you see what I can do. Do not misunderstand me, Jack. You are still very weak. Huh? You were defeated by Gerald, were you not? Yeah, but I'll beat him soon. Sure, he's better than me now, but just you wait. Impossible. Hmm? Say what? You lack real strength. Because you wield your sword only for yourself. Remember this. Only those who fight to protect another are able to acquire true strength. Fight to protect another, huh? Hmm... This completes the tests. See Thanos at the first floor reception and he'll explain our procedures. Sure. So you passed. Easy peasy. That tubby guy you came with failed. What? No way. The captain didn't make it? Nope. Oh, man. Anyway, I guess you need to know where you're staying. Grab your stuff and follow me. This is it. Where? Where is it? Huh? Are you serious? This is it? Tomorrow you'll be assigned to a unit. Be at the guild first thing in the morning, and don't be late. Later. The benefits aren't what I thought they'd be. Speaking of which... I wonder where the captain is. Hey, captain! Um, Master Jack, I was just resting here, enjoying the evening breeze. Captain, I heard you didn't pass the test. Ah, yes, that's right. I, I wasn't feeling my best, and you know... <laughs> I suppose I shouldn't have had that drink beforehand. I really thought... We were going to be working together again. So, Master Jack, you passed, did you? Yeah. I is that right? <laughs> Wonderful! Well done, Master Jack! Excellent, excellent! Captain? Yes? What are you gonna do now? Oh, I'll think of something. There are lots of other guilt, you know. I'll be in touch as soon as I've settled down. Don't you worry about me now. Make sure you do your best for Theatre Van Corp. But, Captain... Ah, uh, yes. There was one thing that I wanted to ask you. What's that? 
Well, it's about my father. Hmm? No, forget it. It doesn't matter. Goodbye, Master Jack. Take care. Jack? Leonard, where's Jack? Lady Ridley, you're back on your feet. I asked you where Jack was. He left the castle sometime last night. No. Father. Huh? Ridley? What's wrong? Why are you so upset? Why did you have the brigade disbanded? Why did you have those two fired? Look, what are you talking about? The knights are Lord Lark's responsibility. Who are you trying to please? Your daughter or yourself? But, my sweet, now you're captain of your own brigade, with the very best knights under your command. I never asked for that. It's not what I wanted. Ridley! What's wrong, Ridley? Nothing. I'm fine. I'm just... feeling a little dizzy. Jack. Right. This isn't the castle. Yikes! I've got to get to Vancouver! Ah, it's you. You're going to be in the Hecton squad. Jarvis will be your sergeant. Jarvis, huh? That name sounds kind of familiar. Your squad room's one floor down. Get moving. somewhere <sighs> so I've got a wino for a boss shut it I'm the one who should be complaining oh yeah you weren't so grand when you were sitting in the gutter uh, damn kid still got a big mouth come on we're going to the training ground the training ground oh that place what you want to go another round <sighs> shut up let's go you ran away listen up kid I wasn't in the best shape that last time you saw maybe 20% of what I'm capable of so why don't you clam up and listen yeah yeah keep working on those excuses okay oh, kid you have a real overinflated opinion of yourself Daniel who's this guy this is the Hecton Squad's second-in-command. Well, there were only two of us, but hey! You two are going to fight it out to see who gets to be Corporal from now on. Will you command, or will you be a mere private? This is the battle to determine your fate! Now, soldiers, fight! Same difference, but whatever. Hey, I'm Jack. Jarvis says we have to fight. Hey, that's Sergeant Jarvis to you! Relax, buddy. Let's keep it friendly, okay? Forget it! I'm gonna grind you up and show you who's your daddy! 
Whoa, calm down, little guy. Besides, there's no way you can beat me. Hey! Are you making fun of me? If you make fun of me, you'll be sorry! Ooh, really? You'll get mad? That I want to see. <laughs> to get into the guild. Shut up, you! You're only a little better than me! More than a little, actually. We have a winner! Jack will be squad corporal. Daniel, you're private. Hey, listen. Why don't you let me be private? What's that? I figured Daniel's been here longer. Ow! Idiot! In Theater Vancour, a is the only thing that counts. Daniel, you have to become stronger, young man. Jack, we don't have time for pity. It is your duty to try and best me. This is a deadly business we're in. We have to be at the top of our game. Okay, okay. Ow. Now, let me explain how things work here. Townspeople request help from the guild. Our squads earn money by completing those jobs. Some jobs are simple and some are very, very tough. But the harder the job, the better the pay. When the squad has no assignments, you're free to accept solo missions and polish your skills. But the squad missions always come first. We have a job tomorrow, boys. Keep yourself sharp and be ready to move out. Got it? Sir! Right! You're all dismissed! Except for you, Jack! Huh? Now that you've made Corporal, you need to learn a few things.
all here. Now, listen up while I explain our next mission. The request comes from Anastasia of the Olashian Order. She wants us to get her a crocogator. What's that? You mean she wants a skin of a crocogator? Exactly. Apparently, the market for crocogator hides is booming. Huh? Why is that? You tell me, kid. Why would anyone want a crocogator hide? They use it to make fashionable bags. They're very popular with the wealthy ladies. Ah, is that right? You know about this stuff? That's good. We could really use your know-how on this job, Daniel. No way! I'm sorry, but I'm not going on this mission. Idiot! In this squad, you follow my orders! What's the problem, Daniel? I don't care what you say! I'm not going on this mission! I've always loved animals. When I was younger, I wanted to be a veterinarian when I grew up. What if it was Isabella? I can't even bear to think about it! Daniel, wait! It's no use, Sarge. If he says he won't do a mission, he just isn't gonna do it. Hmm. But who the heck is this... Isabella? Beats me. All right. Looks like it's just the two of us, then. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. By the way, Sarge, where are we supposed to find a crocogator? They apparently live in the Elflands. The Elflands? I've had some bad times up there. Hey, Sarge, is that one? Huh? Yes, no doubt about it. Okay. Come on, check. Yes, sir. will be good enough? I'll be damned if I can tell the difference between them. It's perfect, boss. Come on, let's get home already. All right, let's take this to Anastasia. Sir!
These are the chambers of Our Lady Anastasia, of the sacred Alashian order. She is certainly not accustomed to dealing with riffraff. What is it that you want? Riffraff? Sheesh, nice welcome. Lady, it was you who called us, okay? We are the Hecton Squad of Theater Lancourt. We're here about the Crocker game. Oh, of course. Wait here. What's her problem? And Welcome, good warriors. I am Anastasia Ryan. I am sure you have heard of me. <clears throat> I see that you have been struck dumb by my beauty. It happens all the time. Yes, indeed, Lady Anastasia. Beauty? No one's talking to you. Now, now, Elena, that is enough. Yes, Lady Anastasia. Now, where is the crocogator hide that is going to make Anastasia rich? This is it. Hey, what's she doing? She is appraising the hide. Lady Anastasia has a remarkable eye for quality. Oh, really? You sure she's not just faking it? If you're rude to her ladyship one more time, you'll have seen your last sunrise, smart boy. Do not worry. When it comes to crocogators, no one has more discerning judgment than I. I wonder. Elena! Yes, Lady Anastasia. Yes, my lady. What's this? Your payment. This? This is it? Darlings, this skin is of very poor quality. Hardly worth my time. Did you even look at it properly? Keep the skin if you're not satisfied. And what are we supposed to do with a scrap of crockhide? Jack! Don't be so rude to the clients. If you don't like it, try doing a proper job in the first place. Oh. <sighs> It seems the guild standards are slipping. Uh, I don't believe this! Sergeant! Daniel! You're going to pay for skipping out on the mission! Yes, sir. I'll accept any punishment you choose, but... Did you get it? The crocogator? Of course. It was our job. I knew it. Why are you moping? It's just an overgrown lizard. Just an overgrown lizard? Animals are living creatures, too! Sure, but come on. You eat meat, don't you? I do not! I don't eat meat! I couldn't do that! Not in front of Isabella! Say, Daniel, we've been wondering, who's this Isabella you keep talking about? Isabella is the name of my pet crocogator. She's been with me since I was little. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Isabella is one of the family. Uh, Daniel. <laughs> I'll never, ever hunt crocogators, no matter how many times you ask. I won't do it even if you fire me! Try it and see! Boy, the kid is pretty ticked off. Yeah, seriously. Anyway, the squad mission is done. That'll be all for today. You're dismissed. Yes, sir.
Stupid, ignorant, stupid pumpkin heads. Who cares about theater van corps? Who wants to be a warrior anyway? There are all kinds of jobs in this town. I won't work for just anybody. Oh, if only that were true. The fact is, I wish I were in Jack's shoes right now. <laughs> Oh, that pitiful voice. It must be the sound of my own weeping heart. <laughs> Wait, no it isn't. There's a child crying somewhere. Somewhere? Around here, I think. Hello. What happened here? Are you all right? Who... who are you? <laughs> no one you need to be afraid of. I was just passing by. I heard you crying, so I thought I'd stop and see if I could help. It's Mother. She's gone. Aha, you've lost your mother, have you? Well, let's go look for her together. No, not me, the kitten. His mother's lost. The cat's mother? Yeah. He looks so sad. I want to help him find his mommy. But she isn't anywhere. <laughs> now, now, now. Is that any way for a young boy to behave? I've got it. Why don't you come with Uncle Gans and we'll look together? Do that? Thanks a lot, Grandpa. Uncle will be fine. Now, come along. We'll find her before the day is out, I'm sure. Okay. It all worked out, didn't it? I told you we'd find his mother. Yeah. Now we just have to get you back to your mother. Cody! Are you alright? You dirty kidnapper! You get your hands off my boy right now! Huh? What? This bum is going to join us? Uh-huh. I already talked to the bosses and they okayed it. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Rinka, are you sure about this? This guy seems a bit, you know, slow in the head or something. I think so too. So why let him in? I don't know. Morbid curiosity, maybe. Hmm. I don't know about this. Jack! Hmm? Jack! Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. You don't have to scream the door down. Thank goodness you're home! What's up? Did Sarge get all liquored up again? No, nothing like that. Just come, please. W what's wrong? It's Auntie Sheila. Something's happened. Huh? Miss Barbena went to cash a lottery ticket, but Auntie Sheila wouldn't give her the money. First, she started screaming at Miss Barbena, and then she started hitting her! Uh, so you're saying Auntie Sheila hit Miss Barbena, right? 
Yes, that's right. Will you just come, please? I don't really get it, but it sounds pretty bad. Okay, let's go. Miss Barbena! You worry, my dear. Are you all right? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Thank you, my dear. What's going on? Why did Auntie Sheila do this? I have no idea, darling. Hmm. It must be that illness that's been going around. Yes, yes. Why else would Sheila do such a terrible thing? Illness? Yes, her eyes were awful. Like some kind of wild beast. Where did she go? She took the money and then she ran home. Listen, will you take her to the Warrior Guild? Just tell them my name and they'll look after you. But Jack... People with the disease, you don't know how violent they can be. Hey, don't worry. I'm on the case. Please, be careful, Jack. Just leave it to me. Okay, then. Miss Sheila? Miss Sheila, are you in there? Come on, open up! Hey, I said open up! If you don't, I'm gonna bust my way in! Right, now I'm mad! She's like a mad animal. Why did you beat up on Ms. Barbena? You know why. She tried to steal my money. She was the one who had the winning ticket. It was her money. I don't care whose it was. Even if it was hers, it's mine now. You can't just take other people's things. That's stealing. What's that? You want to steal my money too? Well, I won't let you. General do here. Oh right. Ah! Well, that's over. Ah! Okay, it's not over. Whew, that was close. There she is, over there! Are you all right? Yeah, no problema. Good, glad to hear it. No doubt about it. It's the disease, all right. Okay, let's get her to the castle right away. The castle? We've been ordered to bring all the afflicted townspeople to the castle so they can be quarantined. Is that right? Huh. Sorry, sir, if you'll excuse us. They work fast. Whew, what a relief. I guess no one saw me miss with the karate chop. Is this really me? Or someone else? Come on, Ridley, of course it's you. What's happening? My head is spinning. <laughs> what? Who's there? Was that... Was that my... 
my voice? Someone is inside me. Someone... Hey there, Jack. The Hecton Squad's been called up for an assignment. Oh, yeah? You'd better get down to your squad room pronto. Okay. Good. We're all here. So, looks like we have a new assignment, boys. Our squad's been chosen to serve as bodyguards for a certain high-ranking member of the nobility. We'll be told who once we get there, but I want you all to be on your toes. Cool. High-ranking nobility. I wonder who it'll be. It must be one of the royals. I bet you anything. No way. That sounds pretty major. But Sarge, why did they ask for us? This sounds bigger than normal guild work. Knights attract too much attention. Vancor always handles these bodyguard assignments. Especially our squad. We don't stand out at all. No one notices us. I think we know who to thank for that. Don't we, Daniel? Yes, sir. That would be me, sir. Well, anyway, never mind that. We have to get going and meet the client. Roger! Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. I am Sergeant Jarvis of the Hecton Squad. It's quite all right, Sergeant. Thank you for coming. My name is Raymond. And this young lady is Belle... That is to say... Please, call me Arnold. Your ladyship. She's the princess. Oh, of course. Sorry. We're the princess's security detail? That is so cool! But what kind of alias is Arnold? I mean, couldn't they come up with anything better? Shut up, you! I think it's a really great name. Why, thank you very much. My name is Daniel. And I'm Jack Russell. I'm the best sword fighter in town. Oh my, what a perfect escort. He's my subordinate! Hey, I'm the corporal. Oh, forget it. <laughs> As you can probably tell, he's kind of a loser. Hey, watch your mouth, Daniel. You're starting to push your luck. Enough! We're on duty! <laughs> I haven't been out of the castle in ages. Ladyship will be in safe hands. Thank you. Please take very good care of her. So, where are we going? Well, first I want to see the accessories at OK Hand in Magetown. Are we going to all the shops? Hey! Don't be so cheeky! We're supposed to be undercover, right? So what? That doesn't mean you're allowed to be rude. Listen, Pipsqueak. Hey, cut it off. Come on, we have to hurry before all the shops close. Wait, Miss Arnold! Huh? Where'd she go? Miss Arnold! Damn it! Where is she? There! There she is, Sarge! Bandit Guild! Come on, after them! Okay! <laughs> Don't run so fast! <sighs> Man, you're like a tortoise with a hernia. Ain't that right, Sarge? Huh? Sarge? <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Sarge. You've got to cut down on the beer. Oh, oh shut up! Oh, I'm dying! 
dying here. <sighs> I'm going ahead. Quit squirming. You do like we tell you. What are you doing, Joe Kel? We've got to hurry. Damn it all. They caught up to us. <gasps> That's far enough! Vancor lowlifes, did you lose something? Who are you calling a lowlife? You're gonna get it! My, my, my. The little brat has spirit. Sorry, gentlemen, but I don't have time to chat. See you around. You can leave them to us, boss. Come on, Jokel. Let's knock some heads together. <laughs> you guys are in deep doo doo. Kid in Jarvis's squad, right? What happened? Uh, Miss Arnold, I mean the princess, she's been kidnapped. What did you say? Sergeant Jarvis and Jack are chasing them. We have to go help them right away. Right. Where are they? In the abandoned building near the Magic Institute. There is a secret passage in the back. That's enough. I can find them. You go and warn. <laughs> 
join the rest of the guild. But sir, you can't go alone. There's no time, boy. We can't let them get away with the princess or the guild will never recover its reputation. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Danger isn't in my dictionary. He's so cool. Did you see them? No, they're not here. Damn it! These bandits move fast. Looks like they've gone for now. Right, here's our chance. Let's go. We have to run again? But I don't think I can go another step. Do you want to go to jail? Uh, no. Not a bad night's work. No kidding, that corrupt merchant had quite a stash hidden away. <sighs> What's up with you? Well, I just can't help thinking. It's wrong to steal from others, isn't it? You're worried about that now? It's kind of late for misgivings, you know. Listen, we're really careful, okay? I mean, we only steal from guys who deserve it. Okay. That's right. We don't hurt anyone, and we don't steal from poor folk. That's how honorable bandits always work. Honorable bandits? Yes, I, I think I see what you mean. Maybe. Right. Plus, we always turn down the shady requests that come into the guild. 
Unlike that creep Nocturne and his thugs. This Mr. Nocturne accepts uh, dishonorable jobs? Oh, yeah. Real dirty work. They say his clients include some of the top people in the castle. People in the castle? Using boy members? It sounds like something is afoot. Yeah, whatever. It's nothing to do with us. In Void, it's best not to ask too many questions, if you catch my drift. You know what they say, right? Curiosity killed the cat. Yes. with the screaming, boy. You could give a guy a heart attack. You almost gave me one. You are alive, right? Of course I am. Do I look dead to you? But I saw you get killed. Don't be so quick to bury me, kid. After what Nocturne did, can you blame us? <laughs> he deliberately avoided hitting me anywhere fatal. He was just toying with me. The arrogant scum. Well, it's better than getting killed, right? No, I won't let him make a fool of me. You and Nocturne seem to go back a ways. What happened between you two? Some other time. This ain't the toilet. Door's open. <laughs> I see you're feeling better. Oh, hey, Chief. Uh, I didn't know it was you. It's all right, Gerald. I'm quite used to your greetings. Yeah. Sorry, Chief. No, stay as you are. <laughs> Darn it. I'm not exactly dressed for visitors. Relax. You don't have many opportunities to rest. You should take advantage of it while you can. <laughs> he didn't look like he was trying to rest. Shut up. <clears throat> How's the princess, by the way? She's safe. However, the castle is taking this incident very seriously. They have asked us to investigate the Void community. Then I have to get ready. No. I already told you. You are to rest until you have recovered. But what about the investigation? Gerald, I think the time has come for you to start grooming a successor. A successor? I'm afraid we can expect more incidents like this to occur in the future. Well, Jack, what do you think? Uh, me? You learned many valuable lessons from this last adventure. I think you are ready to take charge of your own squad. Jack Russell, you are now a sergeant in the guild. A sergeant? <laughs> Hey, it's no big deal, Jack. Heck, if Jarvis here can do it. And just what is that supposed to mean? I want you to look into the boy incident and do whatever you think is necessary. Jack, always fight for what's right and you'll be fine. If you'll excuse me, gentlemen. Well, we have to celebrate your promotion. It's time for some private lessons from Deputy Gerald on the tactics every squad leader should know. Don't you ever take a break? Hey.
Who's this guy? Um, yes? What do you want? Do you know where Aphelion might be? Aphelion? Yes, that's right. It's important I find him. I think he's most likely a human. Huh? You think he's human? Aye, but I can't be too sure. It seems to me his smell should be stronger than it is. So, do you know him? I've never heard of anyone looking for people by their smell before. Is that so? Do you mean to say that humans can't do that? Are you serious? Anyway, I don't know who this Aphelion guy is, okay? Will you help me find him? Why are you asking me? Look, if you want my help, you have to pay a fee to the guild. And what kind of a thing would this fee be? Money. What else would it be? Ah, money, you say? I should have realized. Of course, humans do like their money. Did you get knocked on the head recently or something? Maybe you should see a doctor. Oh, no. My head is harder than diamond. You needn't worry about that. Hey, you said I was worried. You're not going to tell me that humans know of something that's harder than diamond, are ya? <sighs> that's it. I'm out of here. Good luck. How much is this fee of yours? Huh? You want to pay the money? Well, I guess I could do it for, say, 5,000 doggles. Let's see how he likes that. Oh, well now, is that all you want? No way! Yahoo! There's more than I can count! So, lad, now will you help me look? No problemo! I'm ready for action! Come on, let's get started! By the way, what does this Aphelion guy look like anyway? Oh, I don't know. Huh? You don't know? Hey, that's right. The fact is, you see, he can take any farm he wants. Then how are we supposed to find it? Hmm. It won't be easy. Won't be easy? Try impossible. Hey, we're not going to find him by just wandering around the streets, you know. But I have to find him. We have some very important things to discuss. Fine, but he's not going to just appear like magic. Wait a minute! I know how to find him! Tell me, who is the strongest fighter in this whole town? The strongest fighter? I don't know. Maybe the chief? The chief, you say? Yeah, the boss of Theater Van Cor. Excellent! You take me there, then! This is it. Her office is on the fourth floor. I'll go and pay a little visit. Just a word of warning, though. The Chief is plenty strong. I wouldn't make her mad if I were you. I'm plenty strong myself, lad. Don't you worry about me. Nice knowing you. Well, whatever. Check it out. I'm rich! How much is this, anyway? Huh? Wait a minute. This picture. It's his own face! This money is fake! The old Weezer tricked me!
This must be it. Is Ophelion here? Uh, it's you. Who is it? It's me, Jack. Did some weird old guy come by? A weird old guy? No, not around here. Okay. Sorry to bug you. Oh, man! Where the heck did he go? <laughs> it's been a long time. Yes, you're right. It's been a very long time. In fact, I thought you'd be dead by now. I could say the same thing. There I was, looking for a Ophelion, and who do I run into but you? In the old days, I would have drawn my sword the moment I saw you. So that must mean, after all this time, you know you can't beat me. <laughs> what it means is, I have no reason to fight you now. I really don't understand humans at all. You don't need to, do you? Maybe not. Unfortunately, I don't know where Ophelion is. Is that so? Oh well, at least I got to see an old friend. Don't lie. We were never friends. That's the truth, and you know it. Aye. I was just trying a little human hypocrisy. So, the time is drawing near. Jack, are you there? Oh, hey Pops. What are you doing here? Stop calling me Pops. Anyway, I have a message for you. A message? From who? From Lady Ridley. She's having a birthday party at the castle tomorrow. She wants you to come too. That's what she said at least. You mean... Ridley's feeling better? Yup. She's right as rain again. Wow. That's great news. But... Um... What is it? Why did she invite me? I don't know. All I know is she asked me to ask you. Anyway, make sure you come, okay? For sure. Hey, wait! I'm not a knight anymore. They won't let me into the castle. Not a problem. Don't worry about it. Here, just show this to the guards. It's an invitation from Lady Ridley. Now make sure you show up. Do you hear, Jack? I've got to go. Hmm. Birthday party, huh? Hmm. Well, I don't have much choice. I mean, she did ask me and all. It's kind of a pain, but I guess I have to go. <laughs> Radiata Castle. It hasn't been that long since I left. Feels like ages ago, though. Uh, hi, Mr. Guardman. I've got one of these. Okay. Go on in. Where's Ridley?
Italy. There she is. Hey, look at you. Back on your feet. I knew you were just faking it. Jack, you came. Yep. I'm sorry about what happened. Huh? You being fired from the Knights, it was my fault. You're still worried about that? <sighs> hey, it was really no big deal. I mean, if you ask me, the Knights are kind of uptight. Theater Van Core is more my style, you know? I'm glad. Listen, Jack, I need to... Ridley? Oh, him. You're Jack, right? What are you doing here? Huh? Disgraced former members of the Knights usually aren't allowed in the castle, are they? Cross, what are you saying? He's here because I invited him. It's okay. Forget it, Ridley. Listen, I've got to be heading back home. Jack, don't pay any attention to this idiot. Ouch. You tell him, Ridley. You're starting to sound like your old self again. Jack. If you ever want to talk, stop by my place anytime, okay? See ya. <sighs> what do you think you're doing, Cross? Jack is one of my guests. No, no. Is that any way for you to talk to your future husband? I don't care what our parents think they decided. I want nothing to do with you. Now buzz off. <laughs> Ridley. to go. Almost there. Genius, why did you bring me here? something I have to tell you. Something terrible. Lord Nogueira is dead. He can't be. He's been entombed here. That cocoon you see holds Lord Nogueira's dead body. Where are we? This is the graveyard of the elves. It's a place in which the fates of elves and humans are deeply entwined. The graveyard? Of the elves? Like the elf king of old. My brother lies dead, but why? That ancient king brought the human female and child to that benighted castle. And there the dark elves were born, along with Elgandars. For the first time, that terrible disease exposed the immortal elves to death. No one was immune. Even the king himself fell victim to it. It infected and killed him. Now it returns to claim my own flesh and blood. When our bodies decay and fall away because of disease or age, elves do not die. The transpiration lets our spirits fly to different bodies where they can mingle with other souls. But the cursed Algandars shuts our souls deep, deep within these cocoons. 
My brother, why did you perform the transpiration on that human girl? To break the natural laws that separate elf and human, Argandar's was your inevitable reward. Brother, why in the world did you bring this fate upon yourself? Was this... because of me? Human filth! How much will you make us suffer before you are satisfied? Will you take and destroy everything we have? Will you continue to spread the plague to every land in the world? Why were humans sent to try us so? Why, my brother? <laughs> Did Lord Nogueira die because of me? I honestly don't know, but I can tell you one thing. Listen to what Zane is saying and it's obvious. There's a long and tragic history between humans and the other races of the world. We need to find some answers and find them soon. Time is running out. I know there must be something I can do to help. You can help? I'm sorry. I had to show you this. But you needed to know what happened. You're the only human who's ever received a transpiritation. And those are all the dwarf requests, sir. Hmm, I see. They are asking for a great deal. Yes. We have to avoid making the situation any worse. Do you mean that we should accede to the dwarves' demands? We can't give them everything they want. But we should compromise where we can. Compromise? No. I refuse to accept that. Why must we be the ones to back down? Why should we bow our heads before such insolence? We are the ones who provide the funds that allow the dwarves to dig their mines. We can't lie down before them so meekly. If you're so strongly opposed, I presume that you have some sort of alternative suggestion. Yes, let me take the Noir Mouton Brigade out to the dwarf village. Send knights to the village? Do you want to start a war? No, not a war. We just need to put on a show of strength to improve our negotiating position. But even if that works as you plan, have you considered how the other non-humans will react? This is a time of great tension. Such an action might well increase the danger. Exactly. I completely agree. If we send out the knights, the non-humans could respond in kind. Yes. A show of force might work on this occasion, but there is too much at stake in the long term. I believe that this must be a time for restraint. Dinus, what do you think? Sir, I think we should avoid any clumsy efforts to force the issue. You would choose the coward's way as well? If we give in to them now, the dwarves will only demand more from us in the future. And not only the dwarves either. The elves and the goblins, too. Soon they'll be sending their demands and ultimatums. You mark my words. The dignity and honor of Radiata will be worth nothing. Yes, you do have a point. But still... I've decided. We will dispatch the Radiata Knights as a show of force. Yes, a wise choice, my lord. Lord Lox, the danger! There is nothing to fear. The troops will only be a bluff. Yes, but even so... Dinus, have the knights prepare to move out. Sir. Cross. 
What happened in the meeting? Well, it's you. You should expect to become very busy soon being the night captain. The knights have been ordered to the dwarf village to demonstrate Radiata's strength. What? But why? <laughs> it will be wonderful. I can see the shock on those idiot dwarf faces already. They'll be begging us for peace soon enough. You stupid fool. What was that? Why are we sending soldiers to negotiate? Listen! It won't be just the dwarves. Soon we'll lose the trust of all the fairy creatures. Be careful what you say. These are the orders of the Commander-in-Chief himself. Boss, you really want to fight the don't you? As a knight, I must always be prepared to defend my country. I understand. I know you've been under great pressure since your promotion. Don't touch me! You insolent wretch! <laughs> Why? Why have we allowed it to come to this? Uh, no, not now. Uh, it's happening again. Someone inside my head. Those words. She speaks the ancient elf talk long vanished from this world. So it worked. The transpiritation was a success.
you're saying you and your people will refuse to consider our offer? Yes, I am. It's not nearly enough. But the amount of money you dwarves demand is completely unreasonable. We barely have what we need to live. We have no choice but to raise our prices. Very well, but there's something you should know. Outside your village stands a brigade of Radiata's finest knights. They await only my order. I'm sure you don't want anything to happen to this valley of yours. So it comes down to violence, does it? You so-called knights sully the name. You're no more than thugs. How dare you! I'll cure you of your insolence! Cross! That's enough! But, sir! Cross! The knights have lost all honor. Things have changed much since the days of Gawain. <laughs> Gawain? You dare to bring up his name at such a time? Gawain brought nothing but shame upon the knights. He was a man without honor. Listen, young human. You mark my words. Your passion blinds you. You can see only your own truth, and no other. But that blindness will bring tragedy down upon you and your whole race. Damn you, you senile old fool! Cross, stand down! Ah. Gonovich, sir, I ask you one last time. Will you accede to our demands? We have already offered as much as we can. We cannot possibly give more. I see. Enough. It's time to show them that it won't be humans who taste tragedy this day. Cross! Wait! Dwarves are the enemy of humankind! It is time to strike! Show no mercy to the traitors! This hour. Hey, you're Donovich, right? What are you doing here? Wait, forget that. What happened to you? You're a mess. If you are so surprised to see me like this, then I suppose you haven't heard yet. Heard what? What do you mean? What am I talking about? Your royal knights have invaded Earth Valley. I barely escaped with my life. Huh? I don't believe it. The knights wouldn't do that. I mean, take the captain. He always said the dwarves were our friends. Friends? I think not, young man. Slaves, perhaps, but not friends. You humans cannot see anything beyond your own personal profit and gain. Humans used to be content to control our lives from afar. But now, we are shackled like slaves, and humans make us hurt the minds day and night. Jack, we need your help desperately. You have to stop the knights. Me? Of course I'll help. I'll do whatever I can. 
Thank you, young friend. We should leave as soon as possible. Hey, I'm ready. Let's go. But I can't believe you managed to get away from them. I didn't do it alone, lad. I had the help of everyone. It was all thanks to them. I was going to find old Gavain and ask him to help us. But wouldn't you know it, he's off traveling somewhere. A lot of stuff happened to the captain and me, too. We kind of had to leave the nights. Is that so? The knights have fallen into bad ways. Hey, you know this Gawain guy? Hmm? Never mind. Forget it. In that case, we'd best get moving. Hey, you know what I think? I bet the whole thing is some kind of misunderstanding. No, Jack. You'll soon see with your own eyes. And then you'll know. You'll see how cruel the knights have become. Hey, I know him. That's Leonard. I guess the knights really are here. Now do you believe me? We need to find a way to get inside. Hey, hey, let's take it slowly, okay? Open your eyes, Jack. You haven't seen anything yet. You haven't seen how we're enslaved and coerced. Are you afraid of seeing the truth? Shh, calm down, okay? You'll hear us. Calm down? You want me to be calm while my friends are turned into slaves? What is wrong with you? Are you a coward? It's not that. I just want to check things out first, you know? No! If you won't do it, then I'm going to break that gate down myself! Hey! Hold your horses! Hmm? What's this? Huh? Check it out! Looks like there was another dwarf who managed to escape! Another dwarf? I don't know him. Huh? I've never seen him before in my life. Listen, I gave you one chance already. Are you looking for a fight or what? Are you just going to stand there yapping? Come and get it! All right then, you asked for it. <laughs> against me? Insolent dwarf! This human has forgotten his place! How dare you! I'm going 
Not be the Earth Dragon has been killed. Uh, Earth Dragon? So it was a dragon. He was the defender of Earth Valley, the guardian of the whole dwarf race. He came to rescue us. He came to protect us from the rage of the humans. But he failed. <sighs> This is a sad, sad day. Hey, where are you going? Where do you think? I have no place to go but Earth Valley. But if you go back now... I know. But the dragon that protected our valley is slain. The ore deposits will soon be exhausted, and our valley become a valley of death. So don't go! It is my home, lad. I was born there, I lived there, and I will die there. You humans are too reckless for us dwarves. <laughs> Donovich! Hang on. Man, what's with the racket? A message from Lord Larks, Prime Minister of Radiata. He requests your presence this evening. My presence? You mean I should go to the castle? 
That is all. Thank you, sir. Wow, a summons to the castle. What can that be about? Okay, then. I guess I should head to the castle. Man, I'm popular today. Yeah, yeah. Who is it? Jack, it's me. Huh? Ridley? I'm sorry to bother you at such a late hour, Jack. Don't worry about it. Come on in. Thanks. Well, your dump is just about what I expected. Don't you ever clean up? Excuse me! As if you've ever seen a broom, your highness. <sighs> Ridley? Huh? Oh, sorry. What's up? Don't tell me you're out of snappy comebacks. Guess so. Hey, you're acting weird. Jack, you said that if I ever wanted to talk, I could come and see you. Yeah, I did. The thing is, I need to talk to you. Will you hear me out? Of course I will. If there's one thing I remember from the Knights Charter, it's this. Knights of the same brigade are his family, right? Although... I'm not a knight anymore. Yes. Because of me. I told you. Don't worry about that. Sit down. <sighs> What's wrong? You're really not yourself today. Jack. Uh, yeah? I quit the knights. You what? Why? I'm going to leave the castle, too. Well, actually, I already have. Whoa, hold on a sec. If you leave, where will you go? Theater Van Cor? No. I'm going to the City of Flowers. I need to see Zane, the leader of the Light Elves. Huh? But how are you planning on getting into the city? I don't know. I'll find a way. I have to talk to Lord Zane. But why? You don't want to mess with those elf guys. Do you remember the transpiritation? Yeah. After we met the orc and it almost finished you off. Ever since I received the ritual, I've been feeling different. As if my own body belonged to someone else. As if it wasn't my own anymore. Huh. And then there's Algandars. It's been infecting more and more people recently. You mean that thing that makes people crazy? I think the disease has something to do with the transpiritation, too. Hold on, slow down there. Now you're sounding really paranoid. No, Jack, there's a connection. I know it. It's my fault. All my fault. Genius showed me Lord Nogueira's grave. Huh? Lord Nogueira is dead? Jack, please! Tell me what I should do! I, I'm afraid... of myself! I don't know what's going to happen to me. I can't see the future. And that terrifies me! Why am 
I even thinking about this? Knights of the same brigade are his family, right? Even if I'm not a knight anymore. Besides, I can't let Ridley go off alone in that state. I have to follow her. Hey! Ridley! Hey! Wait for me! I said wait up already! <sighs> Why are you in such a big hurry? Jack, what do you want? We hadn't finished talking. We're like family, remember? Jack. Listen, your trouble is my bubble. Wait, that makes no sense. Whatever. I'm going with you, okay? Huh? Well, do as you please. Hey! I'd rather do as I please than have too many fleas. Oh, come on. That was funny. Admit it. You've got to lighten up. Is that Lady Ridley? So you eradicated the dwarf settlement in the valley and killed the dragon. I see. The Light Elves will not stand by in silence. We can no longer avoid a confrontation. Yes, those Elves will jump at any excuse to strike at the humans. Although the negotiations broke down, the use of force was reckless. The Knights have suffered serious losses. I must bear full responsibility for the situation. What's done is done. It cannot be helped. The battle between humans and non-humans was all but inevitable. Sir. But the appearance of the dragon was unanticipated. Dinos, are you familiar with the ancient legend? Yes. The tower breaks the sky. Here come the dragons to bring it down. Yes. So why did the earth dragon appear now? And why did it come to help the dwarves? That is what I do not understand. The dwarves were probably raising it as a guard dog. Dragons are no different than any other animal, after all. Yes, dragons may be strong, but it was easy enough for me... I mean, easy enough for us to slay. Perhaps. What do you suggest we do next? We must strengthen Fort Lynch's defenses against a possible attack by the elves and other dragons. Cowardice! General, why are you being so timid? We must strike at the non-humans now and crush them! We have defeated dragons! Nothing can stop us! According to the legend, two dragons still remain. Do you think you can defeat all our enemies? Leave it to me, Lord Larks. My sword will soon cut them down. That's enough, Cross. Your arrogance is starting to get on my nerves. If the general is afraid of a fight, he's welcome to stay in the back and guard the rear. Insolent whelp! Dinus, Cross, now is not the time to squabble among ourselves. The dwarves and Earth Dragon have been destroyed, and the other non humans are rising in anger. Whatever happens, it is our duty to defend the kingdom. If the kingdom cannot be saved, there will be little hope for humanity. We have no choice but to battle the dragons. It is the duty of the knights, is it not, Dinus? Yes, sir. But we lost far too many men in the last battle. We don't have the strength for another attack. Now is not the time for excuses. A great menace approaches from Wind Valley. From Wind Valley, sir? According to Lord Lucian's report, the Wind Dragon has arrived there. The wind dragon. They fly to us like moths to a flame. General Dinus, I am ordering you to attack the dragon. Take Cross with you and destroy the beast. Sir, the dragon is as good as dead. Sir.
Yes, you know. This is terrible. Just terrible. <laughs> It's a disaster, Lucien. Please, do something. What is it, my lord? It's Ridley. Ridley has run away. Lady Ridley? I just went to her room, and there was a note saying that she wasn't coming back. <laughs> what should I do? Tell me, Lucien, what should I do? Please be calm, Lord Jasney. I shall instruct the guards to begin a search immediately. You... you'll be able to bring her back? You return to your room and try to relax. I will let you know the moment I hear anything. You will? Right away? Do you promise? Of course. Trust me. All right. I'll be waiting in my room. Hmm. This means that her awakening continues to progress. I must not delay. Ooh, finally made it. Huh? There's no one here. Hello? We're coming in. <laughs> hey, what are you jerks playing at? You let her go now. Back off. One step closer and I slit her throat. Better do as we say. Are you guys completely psycho or what? We weren't doing anything. I believe that the ones playing psycho are you human. Who the heck are you? It's Lord Nogueira's brother, Lord Zane, the ruler of the Light Elves. So this is the Light Elf leader? Humans enslaved the dwarves in their own minds. Humans spread Algandars across the land. But why do humans seek to tear down all order in Totaus? Why? What? What are you going to do with me? I will kill you. Then the humans will know they are at war with the elves. I don't think so. You keep your slimy hands off of her. You want to fight a war against the humans? It is a war for our very existence. First, we will topple Fort Helencia once and for all. Hey, you! I said keep your slimy hands off her! Capiche? If that's what you really want, and what the other non-humans want, then I have no choice. I have received the transmutation. I must stand by the side of the elves. You... you would join the elves? But no, you are lying like your kind always does. Hey, hey, hey! I'm talking to you! Back down! Or we fillet the girl. What, you persistent imbecile? If you want Fort Valencia that much, I'll go capture it for you, okay? Jack? What's he saying? They know me there. I can sneak in and take them by surprise. It's less risky than a full-scale assault. Hmm. He has a point. Then, in return, you let Ridley go. How about it? Jack, stop it! You can't possibly take the whole fort on your own. I'll figure it out, okay? Very well. Lord Zane? You shall conquer Fort Helencia. In return, I will spare this girl's life. It's a deal! Jack! Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Listen, you'd better take good care of her while I'm gone. Don't even think about running. Yeah! Huh, <laughs> who's running? You guys are the ones who better not take off. Later.
guy in that tent. What the heck is he up to? I don't know for sure, but I do know that he's plotting something. He's up to no good. But that's when they all appeared. We brought the Blood Orcs all that way, just so we could unleash them on the City of Flowers. Who'd have guessed those buffoons would be wandering around there? Them showing up was a real surprise. You're telling me. What a disaster that was. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Cross brought that blood orc? What was he thinking? It's his fault Lady Ridley was hurt. Unbelievable. Everything is clear to me now. This settles it. I know what I must do. Uh, wait, Gantz. Wait for us. Okay, then. I talked it up pretty good back there. But now what do I do? I mean, how do you invade a fort? It's not like I've done this before. Paul, who goes there? Hey, how you doing? I'm Jack. I'm a new sergeant with the Warrior Guild. I need to get inside. Sergeant Jack, never heard of you. You can't come in, so go home. Sheesh. I guess it takes a while for word to get around. Listen, I know I don't look like it, but I used to be a Radiata Knight. You don't look like a knight, and you don't sound like one either. Now, scram! Oh, man. Security guard from hell. This jerk really likes his job. You say something. Me? No, no. So, uh, why don't you just tell me who the head honcho is in the fort? Well, now that the Viola Chevray Brigade's been posted here, I guess it would be Lady Natalie. Natalie? Right! So that old geezer Leonard's here, too! All right, get Natalie out here. Hey, Lady Natalie doesn't take orders from you. Okay, fine. Leonard's here too, right? Can he come out? Mr. Leonard? Hmm. All right, wait here. Pops, what's up? Don't call me Pops. Where in the world have you been? We've been looking all over for you. Huh? For me? Yep. Come on in. You! Now answer me! Why did you kidnap Lady Ridley? What? Kidnap her? We have witnesses. We know you abducted her. Listen, Jack. You better come clean if you don't want to make things worse for yourself. Hey, wait a second. What are you talking about? Abducted? You guys think I kidnapped Ridley? She quit the Knights and left the castle on her own. She said she wanted to go to the City of Flowers. Don't lie. Lady Ridley would never pull a crazy stunt like that. I'm serious. That's what she said. I got worried and followed her. She couldn't possibly desert the kind and adoring Lord Jasmine. She was moving up in the night. She had just been given her own brigade. Why would she throw all that away? Now spit it out. Let's have the truth. We don't have any time for these ridiculous lies. I'm the one who doesn't have time. Ridley's been captured by the elves. And, uh... Uh, whoops. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, who cares? Listen! If I don't take over this fort, the elves are going to kill Ridley, okay? Huh? Look, you don't have to believe me. Just hand over the fort. Whoa, whoa. Now hold on, Jack. You're not making much sense there, buddy. Oh, wait. I know. You are angry about being fired from the Knights, so you kidnapped Ridley for revenge, right? No! Will you listen? He's not giving us any choice, Leonard. I guess we're going to have to get a little rough with him. I'm sorry we have to do this, Jack, but it's for your own good. Ah! Uh, we're wasting time! Enough already! 
Just give me the fort. Now. Jack, what are you doing? Who cares? Take him down, Leonard. It's about time for you to hand over the fort. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll be doing that. Huh? Captain, are you all right? Captain Natalie, is the intruder in there? Uh-oh. You fool. I was just playing along with your little farce to buy some time. Oh, darn. Ha! The tables are turned now. Time for you to get what you deserve, kidnapper. Captain Natalie! 
You! What do you think you're doing here? Uh-oh, this looks bad. Hey! That's Lady Ridley's kidnapper! Don't let him get away! Get him! Light Elves? We figured a human couldn't take down a fortress all by himself. Lord Zane told us to come and keep an eye on you. Make sure you didn't try to run away. Uh, I wasn't running. I'm just making a strategic withdrawal so I can launch another attack. Yep, it looks like you really are trying to take on the entire fort. Well, well. It's not every day you see a human keeping his word. Light Elves? What are they doing here? All right, let's get rid of this lot. Huh? Are you serious? Are you trying to start a war? <laughs> that was our plan from the beginning. have begun their uprising. Jack, look at yourself. Can't you see what you're doing? What I'm doing? Look at who you're with. You've turned against your own kind. No. No, I haven't. Soldiers, pull back! We have to defend the fort! We're going to start the attack on the fort. You can go back to the City of Flowers. Go on, back to the city. Lord Zane is waiting for you. But they... Okay. Take care. So you really came back. I guess we can let you in. Lord Zane is waiting for you inside. Go on in. What's wrong with that guy? Don't know. Well, well. You surprised me, Jack. I suppose that we can trust you from now on. Of course, I shall keep my word. I will spare the human girl. Jack! Are you all right? Hey, Ridley. What's wrong? Are you hurt? No, it's not that. Lord Zane! Terrible news, sir! What is it, Coco? What happened? The humans! They've sent a force to Wind Valley! They've killed Lord Zaphon! What? 
L Lord Saford? Are you sure of that? Yes. This is because I sent Gil and the others to the fort. Damn those humans. Very well, if that is what they want. We shall take that fort and crush them once and for all. I want all the elf forces sent to Fort Helencia now. Y yes, my lord. The humans have killed Lord Sated, the Wind Dragon. There will be consequences. Prepare yourselves for what is to come. The Wind Dragon? And so you decided to come back empty-handed? What were you thinking? I... I'm very sorry, my lord. Why did you let them get away? If the Light Elf Warrior Gil was there, there is little that they could have done. The humans have lost Fort Helencia. But on the other hand, we have managed to slay the Wind Dragon. Who cares about dragons? You imbecilic dumbbell! You useless ninny! I am very, very, very sorry, Lord Jasna. Please forgive my carelessness. Give you one more chance. I want you to find that perverted little twerp and bring him to me. Is that clear? Y yes, my lord. It's just a dream. Huh? Where am I? Oh, right. Fort Helencia. That Zane guy brought me here. Well, I guess they really are going to war with the humans. Jack, are you up? The strategy meeting is about to start. Huh? Oh, hey, Ridley. What's the matter, Jack? You've been kind of down since yesterday. Yeah, it's just that Leonard said that I'd turned against my own kind. With Zane starting this war, I've ended up fighting against my own friends. The world is starting to change. There's nothing any of us can do to stop it. Yeah, but still. Listen, we all have our own mission in life. Everyone has a belief in how things should be. Humans have human dreams. Elves have elven dreams. I have mine. And Jack, you have yours, right? I guess so. Protecting you! That's my mission, I guess. <laughs> if that's true, then I'm very grateful. Ridley. Jack. Listen to me. I can't turn away from this war. Yeah. Okay, then. I'll have to come along and protect you. That's going to be my job. Jack. Right! You said something about a meeting? I think I'll have to check that out. going to get this meeting started. I'm all ready to go here. Come on. Be patient. We're waiting for the guest of honor. Guest of honor? What's he going to do? Give a speech? The guest of honor will be leading the discussion. You weren't so keen on the war yesterday. Humans change like the weather. Greetings to you all. Oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Huh? It's the geezer with the funny money! Hello! Is that the young laddie I met in town? Ah! You were a great help to me that day! Ah! Uh, crushing bones! Crushing bones! Lord Parsec and the boy know each other? Apparently. 
Lord Parsec, we should be starting the meeting now. Aye, I reckon we should. What's this? A human girl? Ah, uh, yes. This is the girl who received the transpiratation from my brother. Oh, I heard about that, I did. So then, you must be Hap. The name's Ridley. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a delightful young lady. Parsec the Fire Dragon at your service. What? The old guy's the Fire Dragon? Now, let's begin this strategy meeting. What we decide here will affect the fate of all fairy creatures. Indeed, the fate of the entire world. But first, I must offer my sincere condolences to you, Lord Parsec. The death of Lord Seyfed is a great loss. Ah, you don't have to worry about him one bit. He's only sleeping, that's all. What do you mean? What's this? Don't tell me that the immortal elves have forgotten how our world works. How it works? No, I reckon I'll just have to explain it. Our world is governed by the great cosmic elements. You know that much, don't you? Wind, water, earth, and fire. We four dragons are responsible for watching over these four elements. The cosmic order. Yes, that's right. The wind dragon guards the elves. The water dragon guards the orcs. The earth dragon guards the dwarves. And as the fire dragon, I am responsible for guarding the goblins. Wait, but what about us humans? Humans have the most important role of all. They serve as the vessel for the twin dragons. We're a vessel? That's right. The twin dragons, the gold dragon and the silver dragon, keep watch over this world. Just as night follows day and day follows night, so the two dragons each take their turn as guardian. Silver dragon or gold dragon, one or the other always looks over the world and protects its order. But neither dragon has its own form. They have to enter a vessel before they can awaken. So without humans to serve as their vessel, the twin dragons would never awake. Exactly, me little lady. Oh, you're as sharp-minded as you are charming. Okay, so which one's in charge now? The gold one or the silver one? Now it is the era of the silver dragon. But the time of the gold dragon is close. When it comes, it will mean the end of this world. The end? But wait, does that mean it'll be the end for humans, too? Yes. As long as the four elements stay unbalanced, then it's bound to happen. On the other hand, when the end comes, the four dragons will reawaken from their sleep and live again. Hey, that sucks! What kind of system is that? Oh, you can't argue with it. It's your destiny. Of course, humans are destined to die. Algandars is spreading through the land. The cosmic elements have been thrown out of balance. It's inevitable. No. That has nothing to do with it. What do you mean? The dwarves of Earth Valley are being trampled underfoot. My brother Nogera has been killed. But no one knows when Quasar the Gold Dragon will awaken. In any case, while there's no vessel, nothing will change. But there is. In 
the meantime, all you can do is play your role and follow your own convictions. You have to do your very best to fulfill your own mission. That's what makes you alive. Yes, I get it. I know what the old guy is trying to say. I doubt it. Sure I do. The way I figure, the Silver Dragon and Gold Dragon are like fate, right? We don't know when the Gold Dragon is going to wake up. Just like no one knows when they're going to die. So all we humans can do is go out there and do our best every day. <laughs> I think the little laddie gets it. See, I'm right. If that is the case, it is our never-ending duty to quash the arrogance of the humans, is it not? I reckon that's right, too. However, there is one thing that has been bothering me a little. And what is that? I think that Ophelion, the Silver Dragon, may be up to something. Ophelion's that guy you were looking for a while back, right? Aye. He's taken a certain human as a vessel. And he's controlling the humans from within Radiata Castle. What? The Silver Dragon is in Radiata Castle? I finally found out where he was hiding just before I came here. But if he's in Radiata Castle, then who is he? Do I know him? No, don't you worry about that. You let me deal with Aphelion. I'd like to find out what he's up to. I think it's time I dropped by and paid him a visit. Are you going to Radiata Castle? But my lord, think of the danger. Oh, no. I'll be fine if I stay in human form. In any case, I don't have much choice. It's my job to speak to him. Very well. In the meantime, we shall all be working to fulfill our own convictions. Right. You do that then. Hey, old guy. I've got a question. What would that be? My father... Well, he killed the water dragon. Is killing a dragon like a crime or something? Huh? What did he say? So then, you must be Cairn's son. It's not a crime, lad. Your father was doing nothing more than following his own mission. Okay. <laughs> if you put it that way... <laughs> Jack, I think you should pay a little visit to Goblin Haven. Huh? Goblin Haven? What's that? Goblin Haven. It's the Black Goblin Village, of course. You should take Miss Ridley with you, I reckon. Take me? But the war's just starting. What are we supposed to do all the way out there? Well, if you go, you'll find out, won't you, lad? I think that going there is part of your destiny, Jack. Hmm. Well, how about it, Ridley? Yeah, I guess so. Let's go. <laughs> no doubt about it. She's a real charmer. You know, old guy... You could try acting more dragon-like. Jack, watch your tongue. <laughs> Very well. Coco, I want you to guide these two to Goblin Haven. Uh, yes, sir. Right away, my lord.
Goblin Haven. Sheesh. This place really stinks. Ugh. What is that smell? That's the smell of fried toadstools. The black goblins are always eating them and making themselves sick. Toadstools are all they eat. The goblins get so sick that they never do anything else. Never do anything, huh? Kind of like Clive, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to go back to Fort Helencia. I really hate the stench. Okay, thanks. Like that. All right, son of Cairn. My name is Gawain. Gawain Rothschild. You... you're Sir Gawain? Gawain? You're the one. You're the one who killed my father. Get your weapon ready, Gawain. It's time to avenge my father. Jack! Hmm. Gawain, you killed my father. Prepare to die. Stop, Jack! You can't possibly beat him! Sorry, Ridley. This guy has to pay for what he did. It's time! Here I come! Ready or not! Just be knocked out, that's all. Sir Gawain, so you were alive all this time. Alive, yes, and living in disgrace, wandering the world, never in one place for long. But what are you two doing here? Uh, excuse my rudeness. My name is Ridley Silverlake. The Silver Lakes of the Great Eagle of the North? Yes, sir. However, I recently left the family and decided to join the Light Elves. I've heard that there is war brewing between the humans and non-humans. Does that have anything to do with it? A transpiration ritual was performed on me. There is a soul of an elf inside me. You... you received a transpiration? I can't help feeling that my destiny is somehow closely connected to this war. Ah, yes. Destiny, eh? But... what about you? You wore the crest of the Lion of the West, but then you left your country, and now you turn up in this place. Well... Sixteen years ago, I lost everything that I'd ever owned. Lost everything? Damn it! <sighs> All right. You're pretty strong, Gawain. But unfortunately for you, I'm not finished yet. Jack, enough. The fight is over. I don't think so. I was just getting warmed up. He has a fierce spirit. He reminds me of his father. You can fight me as many times as you want, but you won't beat me.
strong. Just like your father. You did well to beat me. Jack! What's wrong? You won't avenge your father? I don't want to kill you. You didn't really kill my father, did you? Jack! Tell me, Gawain. Tell me what happened to my father. It's been a long time. No one has heard this story for 16 long years. But I'll tell it to you. Your father and I each led a brigade of the Royal Knights. We were comrades, we were rivals, and we were friends. We were trusted by the fairy creatures, and in the City of Flowers we were allowed to come and go as we pleased. Even the Elf Elder, Lord Zane, treated us as his friends. But then... Sixteen years ago, the water dragon suddenly appeared. Those who knew the old legends trembled in fear. But the dragon had come to protect the cosmic order. It attacked the humans out of necessity, not hate. Cairn knew this as well as any of us. But he shrugged off all my warnings. Cairn struck down the water dragon to save his fellow humans. Because of that, the elements became unbalanced within him. He became infected by the Algandar's disease. In order to protect the Order of Totaus, Zane sent out assassins to slay his friend Cairn. No matter what Zane's personal feelings were, he was forced to act. The elves' dragon had been slain. I knew what was happening, but I did nothing. I turned away. I turned away and let Cairn die. I'm the one who destroyed your family. I'm the one who stole your father from you. Soon after that, I left the kingdom and abandoned my family. I had helped murder a father and a husband. I could only pay for my crime by throwing away what I loved. You're a real idiot, aren't you? An... an idiot? Mom was as cheerful as ever until the day she died. After that, Sis and I lived together. And my father never really died. He was always alive. Right in here. And now, look at me. More friends than I can handle. But... Hmm. The captain, your son, he never left your heart. Now did he? You couldn't throw away what was yours. And you sure didn't take anything from me. I bet you anything that my dad never stopped thinking of you as a friend. Right to the very end. I'm sorry about before. All that stuff about getting revenge for my father. Jack. Okay, I guess we're all square then. Even Stevens, right? <laughs> Even Stevens, it is. Hey, of course. Ridley, I've got it. Got it? What do you mean? I figured out why Parsec sent us out here. He wanted us to meet this guy. Parsec? Fire Dragon, Parser? Yeah, do you know him? Oh, yeah. We used to be old drinking buddies. I guess you won't mind me asking then. Me and Ridley are going to join the war against the humans. Why don't you join us in the fairy creatures? Jack, don't be a fool. But think about it. This old guy can really fight. It'd be a waste if he stayed here at a time like this.
<laughs> the young lad is right, he is. The death of the dragons. The war with the non-humans. It's all part of my destiny, I think. Yeah? So does that mean you'll come with us to Fort Helencia? I've turned my back on my destiny for too many years now. I'd say it's high time that I faced it. Come on, to Fort Helencia! All right, now you're talking. Destiny, huh? Hey, Ridley, let's go already! Yeah, I'm coming!
boy, oh boy, does that smell good. I'm starved. Hmm, you're late, Jack. Huh? Ridley, where are you going? <sighs> hey, Ridley! Are you okay? Wake up! Mm. She has a high fever. Hey, Ridley! Wake up! What's wrong with you? Sir Cross, the girl still refuses to tell us anything. She's the only family that the peasant boy has left. They must have been in contact somehow. <laughs> Perhaps your methods are too lenient. But sir, we can't. <laughs> I want her questioning to be completely thorough. Do I make myself understood? Sir, very well, sir. by the Algandar's plague, has she? No, not at all. She is experiencing the after-effects of the transpiration. The after-effects? The soul of Hap has not yet been fully integrated into her body. Ridley's own soul continues to resist. I don't really understand. But she's going to be okay, right? Yes, of course. Hmm. In any case, what she needs now is peace and quiet. We should leave her alone so she can rest. <laughs> the vessel will soon be ready. My brother, your death will not have been in vain. This is a great burden for a child. Damn it! I promised that I'd protect her! Ridley, hang in there, okay? Come in. We meet at last, Ophelion. Parsec, you finally found me. Aye, but it was quite a search. I looked everywhere, and here you were the whole time, a lord of the castle. It became necessary that I position myself at the center of human affairs. Are you going to tell me why? Ah, never mind that. What I really want to know is why you're inciting this war and having humans kill the dragons. You know as well as the rest of us, if the balance of forces is upset, it'll be the end of the world. Humans are fragile, brittle things. Huh? What are you talking about? Dragons and elves, too, are promised immortality, but humans are destined only for death and extinction. 
Yet no other race strives so single-mindedly to raise themselves above their lot. Why? Why is that, Parsec? Why, when death is their only reward? How long have you been thinking this? Anyway, I'm here to help protect the Order of Totaus. That is my only concern. But it seems to me that you aren't interested in your own duty anymore. I don't think we will meet again. No, we won't. But I'm glad we had this little talk. Take care, Parsec. You too, Athenion. Come in. You called, Lord Lucian? General Dynas. A large man has just this moment left the castle. He is, in fact, a dragon. What? The pupils of his eyes are like flames. He is the human form of the fire dragon. The fire dragon? Pursue him immediately and kill him. Sir, right away, sir. Call out the troops! I want every available knight ready to move out now! Farewell, Parsec. Ridley, are you awake? Are you okay? Jack. Hey, you're finally back. What? Where am I? In Fort Hollentia. I remember during the meal, I suddenly felt ill. Yeah, you just collapsed. You had us worried. I don't understand. I don't remember anything. What happened to me? I'm not me anymore. Jack, what's happened to me? Hey, hey, it's all right, Ridley. We've got trouble. Lord Parsec is being attacked by the Royal Knights. What? The old fire dragon guy? Is he okay? We don't know, but he's been driven into Fire Mountain. I... I have to go and help him. Are you crazy? You're not going anywhere in that state. <clears throat> I'll go. Jack. <clears throat> You've got to rest and let yourself get better, okay? Jack. No one else can die. No more. No more deaths for my sake. I won't let them kill the old Weezer. You just leave it to me. Jack, hurry up! Coming. Jack, save him.
I'm coming, old guy. I guess the old guy is behind these huge doors. Okay. the Earth Dragon. Ha 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 
Ah, damn you, Cross! Did you see that, Jack? The humans have won. We can't possibly lose now. We can wipe them out. Goblins, elves, all the non-humans. We will trample them into the dirt like cockroaches. Just like we did with your Adele. Uh, what did you say? You stinking rat! What have you done to my sister? <laughs> all bark and no bite, eh, Jack? The adventure's over. Let's see if you can at least die properly. That's enough! Huh? Sir, Sir Gawain! Gawain? This is the famous Gawain? Get away from him. That is, unless you want to take me on as well. <laughs> if that's what you want. Stand down, Cross! Sir Gawain is too strong! You can't hope to fight him and win! Not here! <gasps> We're going to back down? Yes, we are. Very well. Jack, you get away this time. Jack, are you okay? Speak to me. The... the old man. I couldn't... I couldn't... save him. Jack, hang on! Do you hear? Still too weak to move. That lousy lowlife cross. I'm going to get him. I can't believe he killed the fire dragon. It's no good. I have to get my energy back. Right. Gotta sleep. Here I go. Cross. What have you done to my sister? I want to speak to you about the questioning of Adele, Jack's sister. It has been going on far too long. She has not been charged with any crime. The woman is the sister of a traitor. I hardly think we need to waste any pity on her. Don't forget, it is my fiancé who has been kidnapped. Enough! I'm growing tired of your insubordination. There are very few in this castle who would dare speak to the Dragon Slayer in such a manner, General. In any case, I want Adele released immediately. That's an order. I'm afraid you're too late. What? It seems that while we were chasing dragons, the mice came out to play. She has escaped. Very well. I will include that in the report I'm preparing for Lord Larks concerning your recent behavior. <laughs> Do as you wish. But I didn't realize the general was a tattletale. Cross! <laughs> Lord Parsec told us himself. It is our duty to quash the humans' arrogance. The humans have become completely unmanageable. They grow more and more violent by the day. Extermination is the only answer now. You are too hasty, Lord Zane. 
We all know that humans are greedy and selfish creatures. But that's because human life is so fragile and short. Humans aren't immortal. They're like babies. They want to grasp at everything before their time is up. Oh. Are you suggesting that we should just forgive them? No, I'm not saying that. It's just... Elves don't understand desire. The desire to live. The desire to love. The desire to leave a legacy behind. You don't know these things. We don't need such crass emotions. It's because of their childish needs that humans are as they are. I'm not talking about who is better or worse. Well, what are you trying to say then? Would you prefer that the humans be destroyed? Or the fairy creatures? I don't want either of those things. But in my heart, I do know one thing. I'm certain that the humans are not the cause of the Algandar's plague. Nonsense! You don't know what you're talking about! You were the cause of my brother's death! You have no right to speak to me of such things! Lord Zane, I understand how you feel. But... I now also know, deep in my heart, how Lord Nogueira felt. What do you think? She is gathering her resolve. Her... resolve? Perhaps mind. The mind of the ancient elves. The mind of humans. And her own mind, too. There's a fierce battle going on inside her. One that we just can't imagine. It's all happening in that young girl's heart. The resolve to serve as the vessel is growing inside her. The vessel? So you noticed too? Oh yes, I knew from the moment I saw her. And I'm resolved to see the young girl all the way through to her destiny. Hm. All this talk of resolve and destiny. You're a human like all the others after all. Hmm. What are you going to do? The four dragons are slain. I have called together the elite warriors of all the races. We will launch an all-out assault on the humans. Well then, do what you must. Gawain, there will be no more mercy for the humans. Dragons are all slain. The non-humans are on the defensive. Their morale is in tatters. We must not miss this opportunity. Gather the troops. We'll strike them down with one mighty blow. But Lord Cross, Sir Gawain is with the non-humans. Shouldn't we develop a strategy or something? What do you mean? Develop a strategy? What are you blabbering about? This is a grave situation, sir. We can't afford to be careless. Silence! I will not have cowards in my brigade! Get out of my sight! Get as many of the troops together as you can. Do it now! Yes, sir! But, but, sir Cross! Shouldn't we get permission from General Dynas first? Forget him! Sir! The general is finished. No one will listen to him. The people will follow the Dragon Slayer now. My, my, what happened to you? Huh? Whoa! Captain! Hello, Jack. It's been a while. 
Where have you been? I was worried about you. Well, it's a long story. But before we get into that, I have something that I think will make you feel a lot better. Adele! Jack! Jack, look at the state you're in. <laughs> but you're alive. That's the important thing. How about you? Did they hurt you bad? I'm fine. Thanks to Gantz and his friends. Oh, right. So, where have you been, Captain? Well, it was like this. I failed that test, as you know, but in a strange turn of events, I found myself in Void, the Bandit Guild. Miss Rinka and Miss Flower took me under their wing, and I helped them with their bandit work. No way! You were a bandit? I'd love to have seen that! Well, whether it suited me or not was beside the point. It was my new job, and I did my best. information. One evening, the three of us uncovered a terrible secret concerning Sir Cross. What secret? It was about the Blood Orc incident. You mean, that Blood Orc? Yes, the Orc that attacked us and almost killed Lady Ridley. It had been brought there by Sir Cross. Huh? Are you serious? We infiltrated Radiata Castle to find out more about what Sir Cross was up to. That's when we discovered that Miss Adele was being held prisoner there. Before we did anything else, we had to rescue my friend's sister. Once we got her out of the castle dungeons, we brought her straight here to you, Jack. Gee, Captain, thanks a million. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Brinker and Flau will look after Miss Adele for you. Nothing will happen to her now. You can fight knowing that she's safe. But Captain, what are you going to do? I am going to stay right here with you, Jack. I've decided to fight by your side. All right! Now you're talking! And... There's someone else here I'm anxious to see. We have 16 years of catching up to do. Gantz! Father.
was that? Mistake. They were supposed to attack the City of Flowers. A mistake? What happened to Ridley was your fault. Well, well. You want another lesson? Sorry that I must meet my former master under these circumstances. These are the times that we live in. You must do your duty, as must we all. Yes, that's why I'm ordering an immediate withdrawal. This fool launched the attack on his own initiative. We never wanted this. Hmm. I don't suppose you did. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you kill me? That's it! You're dead! Jack, stop! Ridley! Listen to General Dynas. Enough blood has been shed already. <laughs> 
screw them all. What was all this for? It is time. This fighting will never end. I have to leave on a journey soon. Hmm. Lady Natalie! Uh... Yes? Say goodbye to my father for me. And tell him... I'm sorry... that I wasn't a better daughter to him. What was that? It sounded like... a farewell. Wait! Cross! Is something wrong, General? You launched an unauthorized attack! Our soldiers lie dead! What do you have to say for yourself? Have you discussed this with Lord Lars? No. I haven't told him yet. But I will the moment we get back to the castle. <laughs> Indeed. He shall be informed of General Dynas's treason. Cross! You'll rot in hell! You will hold your tongues, whisper one word of this, and I'll deal with you as I dealt with the dragon. Now take this corpse and throw it somewhere where it won't be found. letter? It's from Ridley. I need to talk to you alone. Meet me tonight under the wrestling tree. So you came? Of course I came. Ridley. Anyway, you wanted to talk? Yes. Come sit down first. Total. 
house can't last much longer. The imbalance is too much. It's not just the fault of the humans. The fairy creatures have to share some of the blame, too. I don't think he knows it himself yet. But Lord Zane has been infected by Algandars. What? Zane too? The imbalance in the world and in the cosmos is the source of the Algandars plague. The pride of the humans and the negligence of the non-humans, they are at the root of the cycle of destruction. Uh, I don't really get this philosophy stuff. <laughs> it's all very clear to me now. The ancient elf inside me has made me realize the truth, whether I wanted to know it or not. Huh? Once I received the transpiration, my destiny was clear. I had to become the arbitrator of order for the world. That ritual set me on the path to my destiny as the gold dragon's vessel. Huh? Arbitrator? Vessel? already decided to go and face my destiny. But before I left, I had to know that I was still human. I needed to know that I hadn't completely lost my humanity. I don't really get it. I mean, whatever happens, you'll always be Ridley, right? <laughs> That's my Jack. Uh, if you say so. But it all sounds like gobbledygook to me. It doesn't matter. It's just talk. Huh? Where are you going? I'll always be grateful, Jack. I have to go. To the end of the world. Uh, what are you talking about? Talk about selfish. Says what she wants and takes off. I mean, I had stuff to tell her, too. I see. So it was Dinus. I tried to stop him from attacking Fort Helencia, but he would not be dissuaded. It is most unfortunate that it came to this. It was the stubbornness of an old man. Perhaps death was his just reward. Cross, you shall be the new general. You will lead the battle to avenge General Dinus. Go to Fort Helencia and wipe out the resistance. Sir, I am honored to accept the assignment. Good. Don't let us down. I am also giving you temporary command of all the units belonging to the guilds. Sir, thank you very much, sir. I will set out immediately to recapture Fort Alencia. Lord Locks, surely you did not believe everything he said. Cross killed the dragons. His energy may be exactly what the troops need at a time like this. <laughs> Always scheming. <laughs> I could say the same of you. Who are you really? You always know far more than you should. <laughs> I'm just someone helping humanity find its future. Is that so? I will be leaving the castle soon. If you will excuse me. Will we meet again? Yes. Someday, perhaps. <laughs> Liar! Liar! L Lord Jasny! Please try not to get upset.
Liars go to hell. Did you know that? I, I'm sorry, but every word of it is true. I heard it from Lady Ridley herself. Shut up! Get out of here! I don't want to see your face again! But... My Lord Jasmine! everyone. Ridley and Gawain left first thing this morning. Left? Where'd they go? Soldiers of the Noir Mouton, it is time to retake Fort Alencia. skills as a hunter. War Mouton, follow me! We shall hunt the monster down! Yeah! Humanity is powerless. They left the fort, but where? Where did the two of them go? To the end of the world. To the city of White Knights. The end of the world? So that's what she was talking about. Damn it! What is she up to? The vessel has awakened, and now she goes to the lair of the Gould Dragon. <laughs>
your game, Jack? What are you plotting with your non-human and dragon friends? We're not plotting anything, Cross. Just what is it that you're so afraid of, anyway? What? Did you say, I'm afraid? All this killing, dwarves, elves, dragons, seems to me you're afraid of something. Don't make sport of me! We are worlds apart, you and I. But, we have unfinished business from Helencia. Jack! Draw your weapon! I came here to bring Ridley home. I don't have time to mess around with you. You insolent wretch! Shall mock me no more! What are you doing? Kill me! 
Kill me, damn you! General Dynas and Gawain and Ridley have all stepped in to save your life. I won't disrespect their wishes. <laughs> the dragon, my prey, my beautiful prey. Cross, get back. Taken by the elf within her. Help her quickly. Ridley! Oh, Jack!
person today. We are powerful because we protect the people we love. The desire to protect those that we love gives us purpose. <laughs> you may be right. You humans, you have many names for God. What do you mean? Dragons exist only because humans want dragons to exist. It was your turn. Humans were ruled by dragons and the dragon kept the rule.
Go. If you guys want to see more of our content, please press the subscribe button below and make sure to like some of our videos. If you don't, it's cool. All right.